Hey guys, it's Fear back with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 18th of March 2022. It was supposed to be classic Ashran, but issues. Look, it is what it is. Uh, I hope you enjoy the VOD regardless. We had a lot of really in-depth discussions because I was able to because the stuff I was doing was not super like involved. Uh, anyway, if you would like to catch me live and get yourself involved with those conversations, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma, or if you add slash schedule to the end of that, uh, you'll be able to see what time I go live in your time zone, nice and converted, because if you're anything like me, conversions are hard. If you would like to find me on social media, which I, you know, please do, it's it's a whole thing. <laughs> I've got my Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and Facebook links down in the description box below. I'm really trying to focus on my Instagram following at the moment, so if you wouldn't mind throwing me a follow, I would very much appreciate it, trying to get the uh, full-time content creator thing going. But until then, enjoy the VOD, and hopefully I'll see you next time we're live. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Hi, the Sunwell. Ah, Phoenix. Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciate the ongoing generosity and support. Much appreciated. That's fine. That's odd. Ow. Uh, shit. All right, give me a second. Um, I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but it has. I will be back shortly. I ordered a package from Officeworks, it's an external hard drive, and uh, it's expensive. And I got a flag saying it was delivered. It has not been delivered. I got a immediate straight to voicemail missed call as I was going live to let me know that it is at the building. It's not. <laughs> so I need to call them back because I can't afford to replace it. 
and I won't be able to call them until end of next week, by which point the parcel's gone anyway. So, because, you know, surgery on Monday.
am so sorry about that. It is not something that usually happens. Um, yes, I wish to remove the text. I am, I'm so sorry. Uh, hi guys. Let me turn captions back on as well. Uh, I usually turn captions off as well as audio just to make sure I don't accidentally dox myself in the captions if I'm on the phone to someone and need to be at the PC. But, uh, oh. Cool. So when, when the person in the, in the message said, um, so firstly, if you work as a delivery driver and reception tells you that they won't let you in, maybe try buzzing the apartment number that's on the package. Like, they tried to call me, but my phone doesn't accept phone numbers that aren't in my address book because spam, like ridiculous amounts of spam. And so they claimed I wasn't home, and so they did a second swing by because I said, "Please leave, like leave in on a like leave in a place, or whatever." But they net not once did they try buzzing the apartment number on the package. Like, I don't understand how a freight company doesn't get when it says unit number, and there's a little box next to the door that says, "This is how to bell the unit number." You. Fucking idiots. Anyway, good lord. PvP! <laughs> Get to take out my frustration on some, uh, on some alliance. Oh, right. I have to select the only role that I can possibly be. Why, if you can only fill one role, why do they even ask you to tick the box? I should be in quick join for those of you who are on my friends list. Otherwise, if you want to join me, you can whisper me. I, excuse me, I don't think... I think you can't join as a, uh, a braid, you can only join as a party. So uh, I've got four spots if anyone wants to, if anyone wants to join me. Uh, and whilst, whilst I wait for that queue to pop, I don't have my seven, I've only got six out of the seven spatial openers. The last one is apparently in the domination cage, uh, cache and I do not have a, domin a dominance key. So. Yep, I tried farming form before, but good lord, they hurt. Uh, oh my goodness. Um, I can't... Well, that's your meta anyway. So that's sand sand everywhere. Secrets of the first ones we're getting next week. So I'm going to be getting that on Friday because uh, surgery, I won't be up and about on Wednesday. So I'll be getting on on Friday. So I'm going to try getting traversing this year as well. I wait, so I need to go get Fareem's forge tap. Until then, let me catch up on chat. I'm, I'm very sorry. That's the, the worst stream start I've had in a very long time. Um, my sincerest of apologies. Um, well done, Zam, on first. Well done, Diz, on your attempt at first. Uh, Landa with third. Hello, hello. Uh, Chaos attempting with first. What's our mate makeup colors today for you? Um, so either, like, obviously you've got, like, my face. There are also photographs on Twitter. The the camera phone, the the phone camera does a slightly different job with color than than this does. So and that's really, I don't know. It might be the blue lights in the background just making everything look super super icy. Um, but it's like a teal. It's it's more of a teal sort of color on the outside. But there's only a little bit of it. Just just a touch. Just a touch. And all of the shades on my lid are super shiny. So like they're really metallic and beautiful. So they're not showing up on camera properly, but there's a bit of like a, a bronzy sort of shade in the middle. Like it's got a bit of a brown sort of color to it. And then in the middle, it's just, it's a really beautiful shiny white color. And then similar in, in I've just kind of blended out. It's like a creamy slash white sort of shimmery shade. Um, so lots of, lots of pale shades, um, with just a touch of brown and a touch of teal. Uh, so have fun with that. And of course, photographs on Twitter, uh, and they should have been shared to Discord by the Twitter bot as well, in case that's something what that, yeah, you that you would like to look at. Uh, hello Chaos. Yeah, I'm going all right. <laughs> just, it's a bit of a mess, but that's okay. I can, I can handle it. I've handled worse. Hello Phoenix, how are you on this lovely day? I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, I'm kind of, I've sort of written off what all the, all the like stressful stuff that's been like all this stuff with deadlines and stuff. I mean, you know what? I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it prior to surgery, so I'm not going to. Um, uh, so I've been doing, just trying to do some cleaning, some tidying, um, and just kind of 
trying to breathe and sort of let my stress levels go away a little bit just because I have surgery on Monday and I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, I crafted a new mount, by the way. Um, I crafted my, my peachy pink snail boy. See, and now I'm having spam calls. I think it's a spam call. Hello? <laughs> there was someone talking in the background and they went, ooh, and then hung up. Brilliant. Um. Wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the calls from annoying members again because I don't think there are any more that I need. Next time I should just listen. Is this one? Right. It's important they'll leave me a message. Uh, can I? Oh, I can. Wait, traversing this. No, I didn't really actually do anything. Let's remove all waypoints. Oh, piss off. And I'll use the handy notes one. Oh, it'll come up once more. The combat. Um, enjoy your lurk, X. Enjoy your luck. All the hydrates. Yes, and contributions to the Mage Tower stream challenge. Indeed. Hello, Josh. Uh, afternoon, Draz. I know, right, Natty? Like, oh my god. Hello. Hello, hello. Chair stream from Diz, thank you. Thank you. This is immensely important. Yeah, look, it's it's just frustrating, you know? It's just frustrating. Uh, where? Chair stream. Oh, there it is. Oh, right, well, I can take one of them off. Um, is parcel far more important than interesting? Well, it depends on the parcel. It depends on the parcel, considering that this is a piece of tech um, that I actually bought because I need it for stream. Um, and the fact that they only, their call center only operates Monday to Friday and I'm gonna be in surgery Monday morning, like I have a morning surgery, and then I'm gonna be on like on painkillers and, and just completely out of it for a few days. Like they're not gonna be able to get a hold of me until probably Thursday, Friday. And then by that point, there's like, if the, if the person had left a parcel somewhere and it's been sitting there for half a week and it's outside and not in the building, it's probably gonna be gone. Do you know, like it's, yeah. So it, that was why I felt like that was quite important, but um, not all parcels are that important. Um, that makeup for today. Also hoping you find that package. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you have to guess what the mount makeup is. <laughs> ah, lazy fox. Yeah, look, I, I can under, like, I honestly feel like, um, I know that there are a lot of shipping and freight companies out there who, um, have a really, really, really low, like, hourly rate and then they're actually like they get paid a commission based on how many things they deliver um like i know that that's how some of them work because i've been told by employees of these companies that that's how some of them work um and so they'll just go and do as many as they like as many of the you know attempted delivery slips and stuff as they possibly can because they want to crack on they don't want one parcel to take them 10 minutes to wait for someone to come down sign for the package and do, 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 do you know what I mean because it, it costs them literal money and I understand that I, I get it from from a worker's perspective absolutely especially if your hourly is ridiculously low to encourage you to live on the commission I absolutely understand why they do it it is a predatory business practice on their employees and of course none of them are actually employees they'll all be on deck as contractors to avoid like blah, blah, do you know what I mean and it's just it is so goddamn predatory. It is a terrible business practice. And I wish, I really, really, really wish that businesses, when you order online from places, would allow you a choice of which shipping company you want to use. And I know why they don't. I know why they don't, because then if you pick the wrong one and something goes wrong, you blame the company. Well, but do you know what I mean? Like it's a I, I understand, and it's a lot easier for them if they go with one company and have all of the parcels, they get a much cheaper rate so they can afford to give the consumer free shipping. Like, I get it. 
but I really wish that we as consumers could choose who to use so that we could boycott businesses that have those shady as shit practices. Um, but I understand why it doesn't work like that. It just still pisses me off. And I think I'm allowed to be pissed off at that. Um, <laughs> suddenly PvP. I know, right? It doesn't happen very often. Stretch out the frustration. I think that's a good idea, Josh. You recommend a tank? Yeah. Yeah, I, I reckon a group is probably the way to do it for that, hey? Um, but that's okay. We'll get there. I'll get there. Get it eventually. Makeup looks great. Thank you, Evil. I appreciate that. I really like how it looks, actually. Um, the Just the little touch of the pop of greeny blue, like the teal on there. I just, mm, I really, I really like it. It's, it's toned, it's not one of the big, bold looks that I, I've known for somewhat. Uh, but it's, it's subtle, it's simple, and I think it's quite effective. So thank you. I do too. Um, sounds like Azurak colors. Kind of, kind of actually, except less of the orangey peachy shade. It's more of a brown um, in, in terms of that one. But yeah, very close, very close. Uh, stream makes me think the Silverian Dreamer. Ooh, it's not that mount. It's not that one. Snail, yep, you want the snail? Does the snail fly? Let's find out. No, it doesn't. It, it But the mount special is adorable. <laughs> um, so can you pick me a flying mount as well, please? Because I'm gonna need one. <laughs> I'm gonna need one. Oh, hi. But what will happen then is that that mount will get summoned when we're actually in the, um, in the, in the battleground. Which is great. Um. A number from the sounds of it? Yeah, possibly. Possibly. My big fear, honestly, is that someone from the internet will somehow get a hold of my number. Um, and honestly, I feel like somebody has, and that's why I get so many spam calls these days, is because they've just added me to as many lists as they can possibly find. Um, which is beyond shit, but, you know, people are assholes. Mm-hmm. So... Wayward Essence. Floating forge behind Exos Hollow stand in the indent to tap the forge. Oh look, someone out. Uh, oh no, I was gonna do it. Okay. So we have to tap the forge from in here. So we're gonna go whoop. Wayward Essence, get. Uh. Oh, and I got the bronze helicid. Pattern from my Patterns Within Patterns Weekly today. Um, so fingers crossed everyone else gets it as well. I'm, I'm feeling like maybe it's a, like a really high drop. It just doesn't drop while, um, when you don't have access to the thingy. Did say may, may require, may, may require multiple attempts. Um, there we go. So, high recommend get in under it instead of on top of it. Uh, okay, this one. Anima charged yoke. I'm assuming Jack has already done- Oh, shit, hang on. <laughs> I'm assuming Jack has already done this. Um. Uh, like, ooh, gamer grill, yep. Yeah. It's by chance a vibrant flutterwing. It is not, but please do continue guessing. Oh, and then the next one is a pale acid mod. I don't know why pale is being flagged as a sex-based term, auto mod, but that's fine. It is not the pale acid mod though. Um, it's not vibrant fluttering, avenging fell crusher. No, ensorcel level worm. No, about to head over there if you want to just farm it while in queue. Ah, oh, okay. That might not be a bad idea. Blazing Drake. No. Uh, let me get this yoke. Um, is it here somewhere? It must be. It must be the one on top, I'm guessing. Didn't I already do this once before? So it's from any forge. Oh, and combine them into an ephemera orb. Jesus, okay, so that one's gonna take a while. Uh, I do have a bunch of ephemera strands. 
Um, I have 12 out of the 15 that I need to make the orb. Um, so that's fun. There we go. Oh, that was a what? Interesting. I didn't realize it could be effective from that far away. Your hair up today looks nice on you. Thank you. I just, it's just in like a, so, um, you pull it into a ponytail and then you twist the, like, cause when you put it in a ponytail, you put it through the elastic and then you twist the elastic to create another loop and then you pull it through again. And then you twist it again and you pull it through, but only halfway. So what you end up getting is a loop. This is like a, um, if I, you might not be able to, but, um, so there's like, it's a loop like that. And then you can see the little bit, no, you can see my elbow. Um, this little bit down here is the tippity tip of my um, ponytail because it's only pulled like halfway through so it's like a loop and then through it and then out again. Um, and it was because I was trying to get my hair out of my face while I was doing my makeup. And then this little bit fell out while I was doing my makeup and then I kind of looked in the mirror and went, sure. <laughs> so there you go. Lazy hairstyles with fear. Brilliant and amazing and wonderful. Um... Uh, it's also an everworm. No, blazing drink. No, it does not. But the lupine does. Yes, Cloudwing Hippogriff. No, love the snail. It's they're super cute. It's the only one I have so far. But um, because I was up there turning in two of the recipes, and um, and I was like, oh, I can. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can craft anything. And then I tried, and I could. I was like, oh, look, new mount. So I was. Pretty happy with that. Definitely not angry about it. So this is the classic Ashrang Q simulator, FYI, for anyone who's curious. Um, the average wait time is 17 minutes, so it's not that long. Um, I want to. I'll see if I can get my last ephemera thread, and then I'll <laughs> just flying past on random mount Jack. Love it. Um, no, none on these. Okay, that's fine. Put over here. Hopefully I managed to choose to try to be through a snail. It'll fly for a short while. Say cargo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Liz, give me the thready bits. Liz. Uh, I don't think it's that spam causing a ridiculous amount of touch manacles. I took people asking how to get around. It was insane. Yeah. Um, yeah. And with the, like, with the ease of... Oh, there we go. The ease of being able to create new numbers and stuff. Um, yeah. It's, yeah. I just realized maybe I should have called that number back and been like, oi. Johnny was sipping for flying. Maybe I should. All right. Drake the North Wind. No. Possibly the Frostwolf Power. Howler. No. Drake the North Wind for flying. Can do. Drake of the North Wind. There we go. Love it. All right. Let's go bonk some. No Wait, what? <laughs> oh, because it's a. It's not choosing the... That's really odd. Alright, I'll do my best to remember that. Let's just do this for now. Let's go. Do I have... I don't... Oh, crap. Uh, where's my Argent Gruntling? I need my bank. Uh, think, please. Please ignore how messy my bank is. Oh, you can't see most of it. Good, 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 good. Where's my Oath Keeper's, what's it? Firewatch's Oath. There you are. Go. Need track 
this one. 145 out of 500 Jonai players killed. Like, good lord. I love that you can spell steal. Time warp. It makes me so happy. Felt really quick, but then I was like, oh no, wait. It's because I was on the phone. Attack from a long way away now. Ah, oh, cool! As long as it's not one of the massive forges, make sure you're facing the direction. That's super cool! Noted. Noted. Special Wind Rider, new Imperial Quillen, no. Hello, Lucky! Lovely to see you two. Thank you so much for being here. Good, I got the healing blow. That's what I wanted. Um, you gotta get killing blows to get the coins. Two killing blows! Three killing blows! Alright, um... Okay. Let's do this again. <laughs> um, except possibly with a win this time. Uh, keep playing. Can't place another temple. I'm just gonna place a... Flag bearer. Did they extend this thing again. Uh, the... Is that two extensions they've done? Or am I seeing things? Slash OP. Look, I'm trying. I've got Instacasts. I can get them off when they're at 2% health and I'm golden. Like, I know what I want and I'm gonna go get it. Oh, jeez. Um... This one, I'm just kind of alt-tabbing every so often to make sure no one's lo losing or dying because of me. Um... Click down the zone, click to where- Oh, nice, Jack! Well done! Congratulations! Look, um, yesterday I spent AFK camping a bunch of the rares, so I got my full adventure achieved this morning, which was really nice. Um, so that's done. But yeah, it's, uh... It's a time. Bombers! Alright, I can place bombers. I didn't place Bummer. I've already placed Flag Row. Okay, let's go! Uh, um, Barrel Shard Hide, no! Good evening, how are you going today? Yeah, look, I'm- I'm doing okay. I'm actually- I think I'm doing okay. Uh, not super freaking awesome, but like, I'm getting there. Getting there. Sundancer, no, but good- good guess! That is a good guess. Brain Deep Bottom Feeder, no, Albino Drake, no! Is fear seeing things always? No, I'm kidding. I'm not really. Um, I do have some some psychological things happening, but none of them are hallucinations of any kind. So that's yeah. We're twelve to eighteen. They're right. If they lose any more players, they're gonna. Why is it the- why are we still at the crossroads? Like, what's... Something's not quite right here. 
Ah, happy to be here. Just probably for D&D might be complete. Panicked mess. Good. Wonderful. Sounds like a great fun. Sounds like great fun. <laughs> I think we need a tank for, for this one. Hallucinations yet? Don't. Come on now. That's not even something to joke about. Fears Razor Wing. No. Hello, Jay. Um. Good. That looks like a tank! <laughs> well, someone who's capable of tanking anyway. It's good to hear. I hope you can say the same, Dunno. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Path Steed, no. There are a lot of blue toned mounts in the game. Let's just remember that. If the alliance are dropping. They get too low, we're, it's going to kick us out of the BG again, and I don't like that. Silverwind Larian. No. I will, I will just, um, for those of you who are maybe looking through your lists and stuff like that, trying to decide what your guesses are going to be, um, there is teal in this look, but it's just a little bit. It's intentionally. I'm trying to get better at the whole colours in proportion to what they are on the mount thing. So it is not a blue mount, but it has teal on it. Yeah? Okay, I'm trying I'm just I'm trying to get better at that part of things. So hopefully once you know what it is, you'll be able to like, right, okay, yes, it makes sense. But we'll see. Albino Drake, no. <clears throat> and that wasn't directed at anybody personally at all. I'm just wanting to like guide you all along the right path. If at all possible. Can I get? No. I got a killing blow anyway. What did my one of my? <laughs> it must have been my uh, my dots during the killing blow. This is amazing. How many bloody coins do I have now? Three hundred and thirty-four. Nothing. Um. Is it Earth? No, Earth God. I have, with which is a hundred. I'm gonna get five hundred, and then there's another step after that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, another two steps. I'm pretty sure it's five hundred, a thousand, five thousand. So I am well off. But the reason I do Ashran as my big thing is um, is because I also get the Nemesis kills in here. Although that hasn't gone up. Do we have no Draenei's in here? Human, human, organ, night elf, human, dwarf, night elf, gnome, void elf, gnome. Not a single Draenei. Oh, that makes me so sad. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I was feeling quite unwell yesterday, and so I made up a couple pots of tea, and it's reminded me of just how much I, like, really love tea. <laughs> so I pulled out the Logitech teapot, and uh, I have tea. I also have a glass of water here as well, but um, Exa said that their hydrates can be whatever fluid I desire, so um, tea it is for now, while it's still warm. Okay. Uh, Bino Drake, no. Chosen Trollus, no. Armored Chosen Trollus, no. Where is everyone? Oh, they're all down here. Okay. I'm going to bring friends. Uh, Alabaster Hyena, no. Malevolent Gladiators, Cloud Serpent, no. Winter Wildling, no. Rajani War Serpent, no. Hello, Zeran. It is fine. In fact, there's a singlet on my throne wish list. That's oh! I added something. I have to. Right. Firstly, the shirt. 
Anonymous from Throne. And we're at the jeans from Throne Taurus from, from Throne. Um, of course, hair dye from from a real person on Throne. These are the names that people have put in for themselves. Like, don't don't at me. Um, the, the, the Fitbit from Zarin, like everything, like I'm becoming surrounded by things that remind me of how ridiculously generous my community is. And so I just, I have to say, you lot, you lot. Yesterday when I wasn't feeling well, I had a robe on. It's like Twitch branded and I didn't, couldn't have got that without you guys as well. Like it's just, everything is just, oh, anyway, I'm fine. But the reason why I went on that little rant, um, is because I was doing some cross stitching. Um, and I realized I needed some more thread for the cross stitches that I'm, for the patterns I'm working on. So I went and ordered those. And when I counted out how many I had, I'm like, hang on a second. And I counted out how much space I have left in my storage containers and was like, oh shit. I'm out, I'm out of space. And I couldn't find these boxes that I had anywhere. Uh, and so I jumped on Amazon and I found a, a set of two boxes complete with bobbins, which is amazing because that way I know that the bobbins will actually fit in the case. And it means I don't have to buy bobbins separately and have a whole bunch of bobbins that don't match each other at all because it drives me batty because you know what I'm like. Um, and so I stuck it on the wish list. <laughs> and I, the reason I'm telling you is because a couple, like back when we first launched it in December, um, I had a few a few suggestions for crafty stuff on there and I'm pretty sure I rejected all of them because I don't like getting the big kits of thread and stuff because I'm quite particular with the thread that I use as as a lot of crafty people would be um, and so uh, but now I found something that I can actually put on there so I did oh no I got a killing blow but I'm not I'm not in my form anymore oh well I don't combat Ha! <laughs> I've got that achievement somehow. Nice. For me, I think. Hum. Mm, tea, yes. Delicious tea. This is uh, tea two, choc chip chai. Uh, and I've made it with, uh, it says on the back milk and honey, that you, like, you can enjoy it with milk and honey. Um, so what I did is I added a bit of honey and I've added a few tablespoons, just a couple tablespoons of Bubble Tea Club creamer. If you have not tried the creamer in your own other like teas, you are missing out. It is so tasty. Like it just works beautifully well. In fact, I'm pretty sure like in the US, creamer might be more popular to have in, in coffee and tea than milk is. Whereas in Australia, it's all it's all milk. We don't really, you don't really get creamer um, in, in, you get cream occasionally, but you don't get creamer, which is like a chemical powdered stuff. Um, uh, it's not actually made of chemicals, but it, do you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. Um, so yes, highly, highly recommend. Uh, and if you're someone who do, who likes it a little bit, like your tea a little bit sweet, but not like super, super sweet, um, the creamer has enough sweetness in it that it might just do, per like you might just be able to add a spoon of creamer and be done with all of your additives. Um, so yeah, just saying. Just saying. Anyway, um, I'm gonna lie over those. A new command, ah, <laughs> brilliant. Phalanx of Courage, no. Is it a flying or ground mount? It is a ground mount, and I own it. I have one. Melee the Wanderer, cough my fave mount. It is not Melee. Uh, what design are you working on for your cross stitch? Actually, it's a pattern that has all of the names of the people who subscribed to the channel in January. I have made the pattern for February as well. Uh, and my, the fabric that I'm going to use for the February stitch arrived yesterday as well. Um, so what I'm what I'm thinking is I'm probably going to end up like one, when I'm recovering from surgery, um, probably because I'm going to be spending so much time in bed, I might see if I can do some stitching while I'm feeling a little too wobbly to to get up and and do stuff. But um, yeah, so I was I was watching Netflix, AFK camping, and and stitching, which. God, it's been so long since I've been able to just sit down and stitch, and it felt really, really good. 
I was really happy about it. Uh, Jari Bloat Ray, no. No, you like a little extra in that good fancy way. Just a touch. Just a touch. Good afternoon, Trud. Hello. Welcome back. Pale High Direhorn, no. Stomp Bike Charger, no. Good afternoon, Yori. I am very well. Thank you for asking. Your earrings are in the post. Along with Dupes Pins and Dan's Beach Set. Twitch Beach Set. Uh, and those of you who have won Logitech products, your details have been forwarded on to Logitech. Um, and three out of the four gift card winners have received their gift cards. Uh, I am, there is one more person who I'm waiting on for their, um, their details. I can't give them their, I can't give them the gift card because I don't have details to send it to. Uh, but that's okay. When I see them, um, I will remind them that they have a, a DM. I'm sure life is just in the way and stuff, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's totally okay. Um, uh, I just don't want them to forget that they have a thing to celebrate and to, to, yeah, anyway. Um, hello coin! Yes, Harry Simon, I know, right? I know. I don't, I don't think there's tr- oh. That hurt. Uh, <laughs> actually, let me just check. There might be tracking. Although, oh, actually, probably not yet. Um, because I'm not sure. I ended up finding a way to... Right, I'm not supposed to walk away. I always forget this. There we go. Um, I ended up finding a way to not have to go to the post office to, to send stuff. So I'm, I'm really, really pleased about that. Um, and it also means that in future, if I do decide to, like, you know, I do all these stupid little crafty things that I've got so many crob... like, crobby? Craft slash hobby materials in my home. Uh, and if so, if I do get around to making things and I want to, like, people want me to send them, like, if, if they want to, like, buy stuff or, or whatever, or if it's, you know, free to a good home, just pay postage, um, I can do that really easily because I figured out how to do it. I'm really happy. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy about that. It does mean that, you know how sometimes with Australia Post you can get away with, like, if you take something in that's a small, like, a really small item, they'll charge you at the letter rates rather than the parcel rates. You can't do that with this method because it's automated online and all that kind of stuff. But, um, honestly, I think it's probably a good thing. Because, you know, going, you know, because I don't, I don't drive, firstly. I don't have a driver's license or a car. Um, if I had a car and not a driver's license, I think I'd be a bit concerned because I'd also have to be able to afford a driver as... Anyway, um, so the amount of time I'm saving going down there and waiting in line and then having them charge me the parcel rates anyway and all that kind of stuff, um, honestly, it's probably, like, worth saving that time and spending the extra money, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm quite pleased with myself. <laughs> Quite pleased with myself. Um, Admiralty Salin, no, never do well in these guessing games. I don't know any of the mounts. I'm always surprised and looking at that's okay. It's totally fine. Um, there are some websites that are really good that have like galleries and things like that. Um, one of the ones I use a lot is warcraftmounts.com. Um, and you can kind of have a browse through and see which ones have like seemingly the right colors like there's no there's no penalty for getting it wrong you don't have a limited number of guesses or anything like that so yeah it's um might be worth it might be worth it uh winter spring frost saber no priestess's moon saber no bone white primal raptor no uh, let's go on here and see if It'll probably just say not in the system yet. Um, yeah, all it says is initiated. Uh, but I think that means I do actually have tracking. Yeah. 
All it is is that I've paid for the label. That's it. That's what initiated means. But that's okay! <clears throat> Actually, reopen close tab. Does that have a tracking number that I can send you guys? Or is it just through my own dashboard? Because I'm not going to give you that. Um, where is the tracking number? Cool. Oh, Alright, give me... I, you know what? I'm going to do that later. <laughs> I'm going to do that later. Um, but I can send you guys um, the tracking number. And that's the other good thing about actually paying parcel rates rather than the letter rates is that you do get tracking. Because um, there's nothing more exciting than having the app on your phone ping and say, scheduled for delivery in the next two hours. And you go, like, <laughs> Or is that just me? What is that? Is that, you know, your parcel is out for delivery in the, the photo of the, you know, cat with the face mushed up against the glass. Package? Yep. That's exactly how I feel. Exactly how I feel. Yes. Run back to your people so I can spread... Shield is under attack. To the defenses, push them back. Twenty seconds until I can become a bloody coin farmer again. Um, explorer's dune tricker. No, is it a vibrant fluttering? No. Amber primal direhorn. No. Ground mount she owns. Not mainly blue. Blue is an accent color. Correct or teal? Specifically teal. Um. Not everyone can tell the difference, but in case you can, there's you. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, V. How are you going? Do not drink from teapots, V. We drink from teacups. <clears throat> so people good, how are you? Yeah, look about the same, honestly. Um You know You know you have a sleep debt when you are looking forward to surgery on Monday because you're going to get to sleep. Like forcibly made to sleep with drugs. <laughs> like I am I'm tired. I'm tired. But no, um, I'm, I'm honestly, I am looking forward to surgery because once it's done, that's it. It's done. Excuse me, no more surgery. Um, and it'll mean that I can get in contact with my dentist to start going down the path with the rest of it. Oh, I did get a call from the hospital today confirming my check-in time and everything. Um, and last time my hospital fees were about a grand. And so I'm like, oh yeah, it's going to probably be about a grand on a half grand. <laughs> I was like, good! Good. Um, I still, I sh I th I'm pretty sure I should still be within budget though. I'll have to check my numbers again, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, um, cause I've had, um, a couple of parts where it's come out a little less than I was expecting it to be. Um, so I'm pretty sure that will cover what I, you know, the extra that I th didn't realize it was going to be. That's okay. Mood and a half. Um, where are we going? Good, can you show us eternal hound? No. <laughs> Swift mana saber, no. JT, but you may drink from it, IMO. Yeah, look, I reckon so, but I don't know. It just it's heavier as well. So that's that's a thing. Uh Ren Stalwart Hound, no, it's a mood and a half. Jin Lao, no, it's fear tide. Yes! 
So true, but at least I can nap. Indeed, it's a hell of an increase. Look, honestly, this is gonna make me sound I am like grateful. flushes. For oh, Lenda, thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. Goodness gracious. This is this is gonna make me sound like flush as hell, but it's not that big an increase. Given that I've got given that well, given that I've got 23 grand as my as, as with the number that I'm aiming for, 500 is is 146th of that. So it do you know what I mean? Like it because I've been dealing with such big numbers with all these different treatments, it doesn't feel like it's that big of a deal but look I, I know I know that it is I know that it is um and if I do get to the point at the end where it does turn out that it is gonna be a bit more just a touch more than 23 grand total I do still have the option of taking out a loan for the last little bit that I need even if it's only a couple hundred bucks I can still do that um which is a comfort that's uh that's honestly a real comfort so yeah here you go. Cool. Tear and Charger? No, but I'm going to allow that through. I don't know what I was thinking of there. I'm um, having way too much fun. Just diving into them. I can't. I, I cannot. I must resist. Um, but I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Fair. Yeah, it's... I I know 500 is a hell of, like the the um hard drive I was talking about before and how I can't afford to replace it because you know if if it you know I need them to either tell me where the package is or I need them to send me another one free of charge if their driver has put it somewhere and it's gotten stolen or whatever, like I can't afford to replace it and that thing's like under 100 you know it's like, I think it was like 70 bucks or something do you know what I mean so <laughs> it it's such it's like what is a large or a small amount of money is so goddamn contextual like because i've been spending so much on my teeth already 500 does not seem like that much but if it was 500 for a piece of tech it would absolutely be a crap load of do you know it's the weirdest sensation hey weirdest feeling but i guess like that's I feel like maybe that's part of the whole financial literacy thing. Like, I, I understand how much different things are going to cost me, and so, you know, yeah, yeah. And to be fair, when they told me about the, like, the hospital fees, they said they would, like, they, the, the surgeon, when the surgeon told me about the hospital fees, they said, we cannot tell you how much it's going to be. It depends heavily on the hospital. Um, they have their own fee structure. They will contact you to tell you how much it's going to be. But in our experience, it's usually in this sort of range. And that range was pretty large. Not going to lie. The range was quite large. Um, and especially considering with all the, um, the COVID precautions and stuff, I don't know how much of those are still in place. Um, but I, I know, I know obviously a, like a surgery theater, you're going to be cleaning that pretty damn effectively between patients anyway, but I'm sure that there are additional things that they have to do because of the pandemic. And do you know what I mean? Like, and so they've got to charge for that because someone's got to do the work. And so they have to charge for the work so they can pay the person to do the work. So yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's a really interesting time. Really, really interesting time, but I'm really glad it's booked in. Um, I've got my admission time. It is morning. It's like first thing in the morning. I'm dead. Um, like, it's, yeah, I, I'm really excited. It also, it also means that, like, I'll be home and recovering sooner, you know? Like, I won't have to, like, wait around all day and have to, like, check my phone. Okay, do I have to stop eating yet? And all that kind of, like, it just means when I wake up, I can't eat. I have dinner the night before. That's the time I eat. Um, I'm going to grab a bottle of Powerade because, um, the surgeon, or well, the anaesthetist has told me that, um, she's happy for me to have clear fluids, including things like Powerade and stuff, um, up to two hours prior to surgery. Um, so yeah, it's all like, I, I know what I'm doing. Everything's all set, ready to go. I go have my afternoon nap <laughs> and I'll, I'll wake up and they'll pull the stick out of my arm and, uh, and Jas will come pick me up. And, uh, and then I can go home and, and sleep and wake up and sleep and wake up and sleep and wake up and then sleep and then be woken up with Jess trying to get me to eat some soup and then eat half the soup and then fall asleep and then wake up and then eat the rest of the soup and then fall asleep and then like it'll be great 
It'll be great. Uh, it also means that, like, because you need to be observed, like, 24 hours after you wake up from, um, from the general anesthesia, which is why, like, Jas has to take a couple of days off work, which is not great, because he's casual, so if he takes days off, it means he doesn't get paid. Um, but I, ha I have to have somebody there. Um, but what it does mean is that because I'll be getting out earlier in the day rather than later in the day, if he needs, if they need him to go work a half day in the afternoon or something, he can, because I will have done my 24 hour observation period, um, all that kind of, yeah, so it's all just, it's, it's good. I like the fact that it's a morning thing. Okay, uh, no charger, no, oh, I should do that. Oh, I have been fed. We are not going to defeat Grand Marshal Tremblade. Um, have you ever had to pay a certain amount of money to sleep? Probably I would. Oh my gosh. I know, right? People buy CPAP machines and stuff. It's an absurd, absurd amount of money, but if it means that it completely changes their quality of life, then hell yeah. Hell yeah. White polar bear, no. Gloss fine, no. Depends on the person and what they value. Oh, that too. Absolutely. 100%. I agree with that. Uh, morning, think of secret for a second. Do the channel points thing. Yes, click the campfire if you have points. If the idea of fear having fun in the fun in the mage tower, <laughs> getting to watch the coas it generates, put some points into the gold. Do the thing. Also, hi Kaz, how you doing? Welcome back. But yes, definitely do. Click the little purple campfire under chat. There's a banner in there that says Mage Tower Stream. Click that and you can contribute up to 2,000 points per stream. Today's goal is to get to 75% because by the end of Sunday's stream, we need to get to 100%. So do please jump in there if that sounds fun to you. Jump in there, chuck in your channel points. And uh, you can all have a blast laughing at me trying to do stuff I'm really, really bad at. Great Alec, no, failing security. No, not failings of eternal, eternal, eternal failings of purity, no. Uh, Junkie Drifter, no. Hello, nurse. It's like slavery, but with extra steps. Oh dear. Goblin Trike, no. Honestly, that much sleep would be amazing. Except it's not particularly restful sleep. <laughs> it's really quite trippy. Um, and I've got my, uh, like my sleep app that I was using before I got the Fitbit. Now the Fitbit tracks, tracks my sleep. Um, before I got that, I was using Sleep Cycle. And the day, the couple of days after surgery were the worst days of sleep I have had in a long time. I think it's because like the painkillers and stuff mess with like something in your head. I don't know, but it didn't, it was not good sleep. It was sleep, but it was not good sleep. That's a few months that don't fly that have those colors. I know, right? No, it's amazing. Uh, Battle Band Warhound, no. Uh, do we have... There's still no Draenei in here. Oh no. for a second? I think I can. Alright. Just look back here for a sec. Uh, so it was Booth, Meaty, J, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I know I'm placing bombers. But 
I hate that thing that they have that makes them like unkillable because I can't get a killing blow. Ouch. Um. Done. There you go. Make sure you place your units. Jump in on that battle. Can you tell I keep going? Like, do I go in? Do I? Nope. Yeah, I'm very good at this. Where is the healer? Oh, in the middle of the pack. Okay. I see. I see. Someone just laid on hands. I've just missed the KB. Scroll. There we go. Um. Or hound. No. Winterborn rune stag. No. Enchanted winterborn rune stag. No. Feelings courage. No. Eternal feelings courage. No. Mechagon mechanostrata. No. I wonder how many of you are going to just totally flip when you realize what it is. Storm Shield is under attack. To the defenses, push them back. Have any? Oh, I've got a couple of fragments. I might as well turn them in. Uh, Emerald Raptor, no. Well met. May the eternal sun. If I'm in a battleground, but I'm not in queue, can you still try? Can you still use quick join to try to find me, or no? Curious. <laughs> Little Ivory Raptor. Mount? It's not that. <laughs> if it is a mount, it's not that one. CG one. Ah, gotcha. All right. I don't think I've got that one. I've got uh, the one that's on my face. I have this mount. That helps. Swift Shore Strider. Nope. Raven Lord, nah.
There's a Draenei. Eggnog. Uh, Guild Ravasaur, no. Felsaver, no. Keep in mind here, guys, the colors are white, teal, brown. Uh, oh, we are actually in there. Okay. Uh, Mechagon Mechanistrider, no. Oh, Blanche, no. Eggnog's their healer. Oh, no. Okay, so the Draenei is the healer, which means they're going to keep him protected as hell. Fire locked. How rude. Polar bear, nope. Dark water skate, nope. War horse. Um. Is there a mount just called War Horse? I know there are a bunch of different horses, and I think some of them are called War Horses. Um. Which one do you mean? Voila. I hope you do too. We'll see you next time. They are pushing us back, aren't they? I'm getting so many killing blows without having my oath up, so I'm happy to stay alive if I can get some more killing blows. For the Alliance! Now that's them. For, for the death of the Alliance leader is what we're going for today. I'm not a paladin, uh... Correct, I'm a mage, which means I'm squishy as hell. Trying to get these kills. Just called Warhorse. Oh, I didn't realize there were mount- oh, it was a mount just called Warhorse. 
So interesting. Well, it's, it's not that one. It's not that one. Uh, Sarge. No. Crusader's white warhorse. No. There is a warhorse just called warhorse. I didn't even know that. It must be an, an old discontinued one. Or something. Like one that's been removed from the game. Because uh, I certainly don't have it. Um, and it's not even in my list. Um, Grand Armour Griffin? No. Risen Man? No. Crusader's Black War Horse? No. Swift White Steed? No. to the might of the great Ogre Empire. Uh, Grand Ice Mammoth? No. It's Old Human Pally Basic Mount? Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Maybe it does flag me as having it if I've got a, um, like a human paladin or something. I, I do not remember the races of all of my stuff. <laughs> um, Fire War Horse, no. Archer War Horse, no. Still paladin mount, there you go. Do Evening dupe. I'm gonna go up this way. So we don't have to fight through the pack of alliance. Stay a while and listen. Hi, uh, what are you up to? Uh, streaming. <laughs> what about you, Gred? Uh, is it a type of horse? That is a clue. I'm not giving you clues. You have that I have it, and that it's a ground mount. No more clues. Uh, maybe I will give you the clue that it is horde only. Yeah, we do very specific types of clues here. I mean, in-game PvP. What does it look like? <laughs> uh, it's also in the title. Um, Slime Serpent, no. Vicious White Bone Steed, no. Never my AH character, brilliant. Best of luck, I hope you've made a ton of cash. I should go check your channel. You should, Zam. You absolutely should. The red ones. Yeah. We win! They will bear witness to my devastation. Now they gotta somehow get out of there. That'll be interesting. White Horde Mustang. No. I am also doubting whether or not that is a mount as well. Gosh, there are all these mount names that I do not know. Uh, no 75% targets me. Has it really? I just got hit. Amazing. Look at that. Well, look, we could polish it off tonight. Then you won't even have to worry about contributions on Sunday. We could just do it now. Finish it. Finish it. So if you haven't already chipped in your embers to the community challenge, highly recommend you do so because it's going to be hilarious watching me attempt to do mage tower challenges on classes I have no idea how to play. Because it's not just on the mage, you got to do it on seven different specs across a range of classes uh, to get the uh, mount. Because it's a mount, that's why I want to do it. Because it's the mount. Um, so yes, that is. Mmm. Uh, house you get. The horse you get from two sides to every tail, opposite of Ironclad Frost Floor. But I can't see it while Alliance. I don't know what that's called, I'm sorry, Fairy. Um, what you can do is check on the internet. Uh, check Wowhead, check Warcraft mounts. Um, unfortunately, there are over 900 mounts in the game, and I don't recall all of their names, nor where all of them come from, and I don't think it would be reasonable to expect me to be able to. Um, so yeah, definitely, like, if, if that's what you want to guess, then then check uh, what it is online, and also make sure that it matches the um, the colour scheme as well, because I would imagine... I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure what that one looks like either, so yeah, but definitely a good idea to... Uh, to check it out on the inter on the interwebs. Uh, 
I'm good. Also check your socials, the rest of the chat should check that too for sure. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Maybe I need to bribe you all to follow me on Instagram by by like posting post surgery selfies and stuff on my stories. White riding Talbic? No. Snapdragon Kelpstalker. Uh-uh. Are you doing Mage Tower on Paladin? I have no idea. I, I genuinely have I do not know. Um, I'll have to look when I get there. If the challenge is completed, I'll have to do my research and start planning. Mage is allowed a mage tower? That's illegal. I know, right? What the hell? Bit of a misnomer, ain't it? Oh, it's Blood Flank Charger, got it. Ah, oh, it's not that one. Alabaster Hyena, no, Ineffable Skittera, no, I'll take bribes already following, but love bribes. <laughs> uh, blue Skeletal Horse, no, White Skeletal War Horse, yes. It is the White Skeletal War Horse. The tail, the hooves, and the mane are teal ish. Washed out teal, but teal nonetheless. Uh, and all of the bridle and the saddle and all those bits and pieces of brown. And the rest of it is obviously white. There's a touch of like really, really super pale lilac on there, but I knew I wouldn't be able to get the color difference to show up on my face on camera, so I didn't bother. There you go! Ice number, please, between 1 and 100. <laughs> 99. All right, give me a minute. Let me just try really hard not to die. I'm going to charge my phone, actually. Next time I die. Get in. Oh look, it's the Janai healer that's running away. Damn it. God damn it, I thought I was up against that enough. Clearly not. in combat with. Must have been something up above me. Um. Bounce that matched. Let's go. Really understand color differences between in person and in camera though. New headphones don't look the same. Green as all their promo photos. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's um. Like, not only the camera not being an eyeball, so it can't perceive the colour the same way, like it literally cannot, not just that, but then you've got onto your screen settings, what particular screen you have, um, and then your own eyeballs and how you process the light coming towards you rather than just a colour, you know, it's, it's a coloured light pointing at your eye, do you know what I mean? Like, there's just a whole range of reasons why they can look totally different, like it's, yeah. The number of times I'll put on my makeup and be like, yes, this is exactly right. And then I start up OBS and I sit in the camera and I'm like, shit, no one's going to guess this. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, a good job for you. I'm very talented. Can't you tell? Um, play mog challenge game with my friends where we favorite nearly all the mounts. We like random mount and whatever. We get make a mog for that mount. Cool. Sounds like fun. Uh, do you use Data for Azeroth page? Yes. Um, I, I talk about it extensively on stream. But yes, we, we do. Um, check Twitter, usually better fidelity than stream. Yeah, but it is still going to be somewhat different. It's still not going to be, like, right, if you know what I mean. It's, it's tricky. It's tricky. It's a color-based game inherently. 
through a platform where color is difficult to perceive correctly. So it's, yeah, it's really tricky. I recognize that. Um, lighting is generally neutral. Funnily enough, Ice, I take that selfie with these lights on, with that light in the background, here. That's literally what I do to take those photos on Twitter. It's just a different camera. That's all that does it. it there's no difference in lighting. Everything is exactly 100% the same. It is a different camera and that is all. Interesting, isn't it? Don't run out the door. She's gonna bloody reset. Do not go out the door, you assholes. Fucking hell. Why do they always do that? I ran out once once I knew she'd reset, to be clear. But, like... Mm. Ah, 100 honorable kills. Well done, Jack. Congratulations. Yeah, she's, uh, she's on a very short leash. She will not leave in here. She just won't leave. Uh, it's a little brighter than the IRL version. I'm flying. It is making a lot of things much easier. Yep. Can agree. All the rare camping and stuff I've been doing. Oh, so much easier. Lord. Not like me. Uh, we really tweet much higher quality. Yes. Yes. 480p is uh, is not great. Not great. Uh, full of knowledge about everything you talk about. Only seen a few streamers like this. Me, it's off when streamers talk to I mean, there are a lot of people out there who might consider half of what I talk about dribble. But look, I, I... When I don't know something about a topic, I'll obviously say something. Like, I, I don't know, but off the top of my head, maybe this place or this place or that place might be able to give you the information you're looking for. Um, outside of that, I might just have an opinion. It might not be a fact, but it's, it's an opinion. Um, but like, a lot of the things we tend to end up talking about are things that interest me and because they interest me and you guys have been drawn here, chances are we have a few things that overlap here and there. And so most of the topics we get onto are things that you guys know interest me, which is, uh, the psychology of it all would be fascinating, I'm sure, but I only did like high school psych, so <laughs> I, uh, I can't tell you much about that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure if there's a compliment on that. Just start answering my comment. I get two ads. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, right, okay. Where is this one? Oh, and I had to put my phone on charge, didn't I? Shit. Ah, good night. Cable's not plugged in.
I love that they think I'm threatening enough to interrupt me and stun me and set their creatures on me. Just that threatening. Charles, well done to see. Well done. All right. Um, I have two fragments, not worth chipping them in. Ah, uh, finally my last coming in. The event mount. Ah, well done, Ice. Congrats. Congrats. Um. No. Yes. Brilliant. 99. Congratulations on Pathfinder Kingmaker Explorer Edition. Well done. Um, third, so not sure I'm one. Refused to buy it for the vendor, of course. Sneezes the M5000. Anima just drops out of the sky. The other day, it was yesterday, I think, I, I put my Anima from my bags in. 13,000. Yep, yeah, I was like, uh, what? <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> Great game. It's an enjoyable long game. There you go, got your money. Well, got your. Look. If it took an hour and 20 to guess what the mount was, the reward being a lengthy game is appropriate, in my honest opinion. is everybody else? Ah, oh, they're all dead. Okay, good. Let's go back to Crossroads. Speedy! <laughs> yeah, Brutes Rise might be a good idea. Um... Fires. Oh, so nice. Just funnel anima to ZM. Definitely no drought here. Well, it's interesting that anima comes like that. There is anima in ZM as well. Like, it's just it's kind of it's kind of curious, but um, yeah. It is nice, though. It's nice. I've still got so many bloody things to spend anima on. Like, hundreds of thousands of anima. To spend, so I'm like, yep, I'm I'm happy to spend. So like, um, where prior I do like, if I'm doing stuff around the house, or if I'm if I'm 
working on my socials for stream or, or something like that, I'll have WoW running in the background and I'll AFK camp, for example, amount. Um, so at the moment, I've been AFK camping Rares and ZM instead. Because what I'm what I'm thinking is if the higher percentage of completion I can get for ZM while it's current content, the easier my life's probably going to be later. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of, I've switched my focus to that. Uh, and I'm almost halfway there. Like you can see here, like 44.42%, it's not bad. Uh, not bad for something that's only been out for a few weeks. Uh, and there's a bunch of stuff in there that I can't do yet, which is, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that I can get that as high as possible. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, fire mage go Yum. Yeah, when when she's dying. <laughs> when when she's dying. Uh, is my Instagram confused? Have you not posted in two weeks? I have not posted in two weeks. Um, so first it was, uh, all the floods and stuff. Like I was sick and so I didn't get to sit down and, and do, uh, my usual scheduling of social media stuff. And then the floods hit and I couldn't, uh, and then I've kind of gotten to a point where, like, I'm not going to be able to get two weeks of scheduling done in, in the couple of days before surgery. So I've just kind of written it off, um, and I will get back into it. Uh, after recovery. I'm going to give myself a few days to recover and then I'm going to start cracking again on the socials. I haven't done anything on Instagram or TikTok or Twitter or like anything. Um, everything's just been completely fucked. Um, but I am I am but one person. Uh, I do it all myself. I don't have any assistants or um, interns or <laughs> and like I've got nothing. Um, it's just me. So when stuff happens in my life everything falls apart, unfortunately. So, yeah. Uh, actually, there's some guy in Sepulchre being like, you can be your own boss and you recruit people who can be their own bosses. Yep. Yep. Hey, Panda, what are we up to tonight? Classic Ashran. Classic Ashran. Because I actually got in this time. Last time we put Classic Ashran on the schedule, um, I couldn't get in to a battleground. I couldn't get in, but uh, today I can. Today I'm here, which is good. You try queuing in, maybe hit a group? Yeah, um, the group has been, like, shuffling a lot. Um, so, uh, there is always a chance that you'll end up being plonked into this group. And the queue time was, like, 17 minutes, which makes me think that there aren't too many games going. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, classic, no. Uh, Ashran is, uh, Warlords of Draenor. Um, classic Ashran refers to the fact that this is how Ashran worked back in the day. It's not a one-and-done battleground where once you clear it, it ends and everyone gets kicked out and has to join the queue. Um, that's not how class- that's not how Ashran worked back in Warlords. Um, it was an endless thing. Once one leader was killed, it had moved back to Crossroads and it'd start the whole thing again. So that's what this is. Um, it's a brawl. Um, wait, trick you in. Yes. What, surgery? Implant. Dental implant. Number two. Surgery two for the, the same purpose. Uh, first one was to remove the broken tooth and to um, put in the bone graft. And the bone graft has healed. And so now I'm um, going back in for them to put the actual implant in. Um, I just need to chill out and still frost nervous every pull. Just wanted to make sure I was a family of interaction duties. No, totally fine. Ah, uh, thanks so much you need for your grand return. <laughs> grand return. Ah, uh, dear. But yeah, um, well, we're getting there. We're getting there. I've got a bunch of stuff. Like, I've got a checklist of things I need to do. Um, and things that I'm gonna need just to help me with. Um, and then, yeah, no, I should have plenty of content to, to post all over the interwebs. Hey, tooth implant failed. Let's get it removed to get bone reconstruction. Oh no, crud, I'm so sorry to hear that. And the first NPCs, uh, Alliance. Um, it's in here. If you read, it's under PvP. Brawl Classic Arena. I'm such a numpty. No, it's fine. 
but yeah, it's uh, it is in game. All the info you need. Deflect. Ah, oh, no. Get get your ass back here and let me hit you with my spells. crafted it today I went in to turn in two more schematics and I realized mm -hmm. fuck not enough players game will end in two minutes yeah the alliance have only got nine god damn it um uh what was I saying yes so I went and turned them in I'm like I wonder if I have anything to craft a new mount and it turns out I did so I made one it's this one it's the scarlet helicid um, what kind of things do social media managers do for self-employed? I wanted to get the, the bag down here. Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> what kind of things do social media managers do for self-employed streamers or influencers exactly? As you're both the content and the creator, how can they help you? Uh, they can take my clips, they can take my photos, they can take uh, all that kind of stuff that I make and they do the social media for me. They can. So um, they can, so social media manager will often have some education on the topic, first of all. So they'll know a hell of a lot more than I do about what hashtags to use, what time of day to post, what kind of content gets more engagement. Um, and then they kind of, they'll go through and read a fair history of my posts and kind of feel out my voice. Uh, and so what, what you talk, when you have like a brand, a branding document, it'll be things like, it's always this font, it's these colors, and you also have a brand voice. So you know how there are some, uh, like Twitch, for example, speaks like Twitch chat, like all of the Twitch social media stuff talks like Twitch chat. It talks in memes and they speak in emotes and all that kind of stuff. That's part, that's the brand's voice. Um, whereas then you'll have, you know, uh, someone else who maybe they're a fashion brand and it's hello lovelies. Look at the, you know, isn't this, this beautiful, uh, pattern that I found for this new piece of like, you know, it's all, it's very flowery language and stuff like that. That's the brand's voice. So I have a voice. It involves swears. Um, so that would be my brand voice and the social media manager would learn that and then they would write for me. So I would probably still do the go live tweets and like the I'm finishing up here is who I've rated kind of tweets, um, but they would do pretty much everything else. Um, they could, they, they would be able to write those things for the first couple, like month or so, I'd read things. And, and be like, yep, I really like that. Or I'd change these kind of words here to be more my voice. And then they would learn, you know, they'd take on that on board, that feedback, and they'd learn what my voice is. And then eventually I'd just let them run. Um, uh, they'd also make sure, like, if I, if I have a sponsorship, let's say step one, and I get all the photos and stuff done, uh, and I send them, you know, I get I get them how I want them because I don't have a photo editor. I, I do it myself. I have Jas, but then I do all the tweaking and stuff um, so that my imagery looks consistent um, and then I would send all of that to them and say this is for sponsorship here are the hashtags you must include here is a line you have to include here are the tag here are the accounts to tag uh, these need to go out once every three weeks until you've run out and e I could go as far as saying this is the order I'd like them to be in and then they'd kind of go cool they'd do it <laughs> like I'd still do, I'd be creating the content, but they'd be doing, they'd be the ones actually like, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But that's what they could do for me. Um, obviously that would be quite expensive because I'd need to pay them like 
a, a, a wage. Um, if they're doing something that takes a certain amount of hours, then I'd be paying them something hourly, or perhaps someone would have like a, I, I will bill you this much per month, and these are the things that I will do for you. Uh, and that might go up over time, or it might go down over time if it's like, do you know, like if I, I pay a bunch of months ahead in advance or something, but it's expensive as fuck. Um, because I'm paying for their time, I'm paying for the education, the knowledge that they have that I don't, uh, etc, etc. So yeah, it's, it's, um, what I would really like, what I would really like is representation. What I would really like is to be a part of a team. I would love to join an org, be a part of their team, and they in so um, when when you're part of an org, there are a few things that happen. Obviously, you have their branding and stuff like that, and uh, you may represent them at events. You might do things for them, stuff like that. Um, you obviously stream, uh, and it can get to a point where they say you are going to stream this many hours per X Y Z. Um, but in exchange, they pay you. Potentially, you know, getting paid to stream. This is what I would love. I would love to be a sponsored streamer with a contract and I'd get a salary. That would be mind-blowingly awesome. But what I would really also like is an org that has social media management for the organization and that then extends to the, the members of the org. So they do, so, so if you're part of an org, you get included on things like pitch decks. So um, that's pitch deck, not bitch deck, pitch, as in like, I'm going to pitch you a proposal. Yep. Um, <laughs> but so basically if I, if I approach someone, I was going to say like Logitech, but I already did that. So <laughs> if I approached someone like HelloFresh, yeah, let's say I approached HelloFresh and they look at me and go, who is she? she there's just no, she's got no, no, there's nothing there. Like, like why, why? Why would we partner with her? She's teeny tiny. I don't have the bargaining power. I don't have the the portfolio of, of partnerships and stuff that I've done to be able to negotiate my way into a bigger deal like something with, like HelloFresh. Um, whereas if I'm part of an org, they can put together a pitch deck to say, we as an organization want to partner with you, HelloFresh. Here are the influences we can offer you. Here is their cumulative reach. Right? So it's that bar, it's the collective bargaining power. Think capture the day. The more people they get in, that like they can they can get stuff super, super cheap because they can guarantee a company that they're gonna make a purchase of 20,000 whatever's, right? Um, so it's that collective bargaining power. But as a part of that org, some orgs offer outside uh, offer services beyond that as well. Some of them might have a person who is an on-deck video editor who is available to they they do the work for the org. But maybe they have some spare time and they're able to do some editing work for some of the influencers or some of the creators that are on the team as well. Same with social media, same with photographers, if you obviously live in the same area. Um, uh, they can also take things off your hands like managing your emails and stuff like that because instead of me having fiamma29official at gmail.com listed everywhere, I might be able to have an org email address. You know, if you were, you know, for, for business inquiries, email me at fiama at esportsorg.com.au. Uh, and so, but I don't, I mean, I may have access to that so that I can jump in there and see what's going on and be like, ooh, ooh, this one here, high priority. I like the, I like the look of that one and they can handle that for me. But it means that I wouldn't have to check it because they're managing that kind of stuff. And then when I get, but you know, and when, if I got an offer, someone directly emailed me, they could go, oh yeah, absolutely, you know, this sounds like this sounds good. Would how would you feel about paying us more money to get these additional seven streamers on deck as well? And we can do a, a package deal with the whole orc. Sort of do you know what I mean? Like it's it's that sort of Yeah, symbiotic relationship. Everyone benefits, ideally. Obviously, you know, everyone everyone chips in, everyone gets out. Um so that would be cool. Uh, it would also be a crap load less expensive for me. Because uh, <laughs> I am a long, long way off being able to afford a social media manager. Um, at this point, it would be like, oh, that was accidental, but sure. 
Um, at this point, it'd have to be like on a volunteer basis, and I, I can, I, I would feel dirty. I would feel just off and icky asking somebody to do because I know how much work it is. I would not like to ask somebody to do that much work um, for free. Maybe, maybe bits and pieces, like, but not, not that much. Like it's. Mm -mm. Like even even with Jas and I, when Jas takes shots for me, like when when he pulls out the camera and we do a, a little photo shoot. What the fuck? I can't do well mounted. Um. Even when we do photo shoots and stuff, I say to him, okay, like what? What can I do to like make this? worth it sort of thing um and usually it'll be something like i'll, I'll make cookies <laughs> or do you know what i mean like it'll be it'll be something like that um chance behind the forge is around resonant peaks okay so we're just it's around here somewhere um but yeah so even even jazz doesn't work for free um he pretty much refuses to to let me pay him um well, yeah, so far. Like, that's not to say he won't in future. Um, but I always offer. Always offer. Um, because, yeah, I just, I don't want, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person. Um, uh, this is the cutest, by the way. Battle! Oh! I didn't realize there was battle. My bad. Uh, also layers on your behalf with brands and coach on how to approach them. No, that is not a social media manager. That is a manager manager. Um, social media manager literally only does your socials. Um, no, wrong. Um, it's not a fashion for me, fair, Jack. Totally fair. Um, as soon as someone in the fame. Fianati, hello, Krazzy. How you doing? Welcome back. Talk to you, my team. Pay sucks. We have some laughs. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, it's for your teeny tiny. Uh, not teeny tiny, but like vloggers used to have or still have the vlogging networks. Exactly. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that reminder. Thank you. Can't yet fly. It's really hard to unlock flying because I need more rare kills. Yeah. Like find one that's like I know Seranos spawns super frequently. Um. But just like sorry down here. Like find one and just camp it. Especially if you're only missing one or two. Finding one and camping it, I found was the best way to get mine crossed off. I know it's boring. But, um, yeah. Uh, Ice, Zam, and V, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Here. Um, boss fight. Ah, it's easy, guys. Everyone flies in, kills things before I can get there. Yeah, which is why you just need to camp one. Just pick one and camp it. It might take a little bit longer for that one to spawn, but you know you're not going to miss it while you're chasing, like, running to another one. So, uh, yeah. Much, much recommend. So this one's dead. Good. Um, issue... You then get on an carrier. Love it, Kush. Chicken kids are uh, still the nugs and they're cooked. Yep. Chef tax. Chef tax. Uh, this one. Ow. Ah, but I do have 16 of those now. I can make the orb, which will hopefully have the yolk in it. Or the pet, either or. Oh, but it's the promise cache. Good. Promise cache key. There's my lattice. Um. And next one. Dad tax, Nuggies tax, Defo Dad tax. The way of doing it is checking the group. Find it for specific rares. Yeah, that's another one. Good, good suggestion. Um, but yeah, I always just camp them. 
and then my alarm would go off when it was happening and I'd just run back to the PC or alt tab back in and uh, yep. Yeah. Um, if anyone wants to join me for Ashram, by the way, I am still in queue. Um, you can join the group. And, uh... That one. Got the big grassy one. Hey, there we go! Wonderful. Just which under essential on your server do you know? Uh, 12k. It has been fluctuating a crap load. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, um, tomorrow it could be 20 again. <laughs> it's been, it's been really unstable, uh, the prices, so. Yeah. I got a Raptora lettuce the other day too. Go, unstable adjutant. Oh no, that's not what I was looking for though. Damn it. Um. Oh well. It's something off the list. That's good. Strands. I have a feeling I'm going to have to keep hunting for the strands, like, for a while. Someone must be spawning here, Con. So none of these are going to have anything? Oh well. There we go. Bunch of them fishing. Incoming, I reckon. I oh, could learn all that management stuff. I got an associate degree in social media management, but the education they gave was very limited, mostly focused on marketing for companies. Assume it would require different skills to work with self-employed streamers, etc. Honestly, not really. Um, the the whole working in a team thing is less likely. Um, but when you when you really think about it, I am a company. I'm I'm even registered with ASIC, which is the Australian Securities and Investments Commission. Like. <laughs> my business name is registered. I have an ABN, which is an Australian business number. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's full on. Um, I am a business. I'm just, this is the business. Um, rather than selling products or services or, or whatever, I'm, or, like, I'm selling entertainment. I'm a sole trader. Uh, so, yeah, it's, there are obviously a few things that can be a bit different. Um... But not really. I think the biggest issue with um, social media management courses is that everything changes. Like, there are a lot of things that are pretty consistent. Yes. But there are a ton of things that change, like, almost daily. <laughs> like, you know, you know, how to capture different trends and, and looking at... Um, uh, Algorithms and things change regularly. All that kind of stuff is just, it's super all over the shop. And so trying to capture that kind of stuff. And I'm sure there is training as part of a, a like a part of an official program to learn how to figure out what the algorithm's doing. Um, but are these guys, are they all just camping it? Or is it actually going to spawn? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit... Um, I don't think it is honestly that much different though. I think it's just a slightly different application, maybe. 
Um, and no, less red tape. Less red tape to try to get shit approved and stuff. And also a much, much smaller budget, often. Not not always, but often. A much, much, much smaller budget. Like, I, because I, I work accounts, right? Uh, so the company that I work for has a... Fear. 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 The company that I work for has a, um, a marketing manager, right? And part of their job is social media marketing. And, um... So they do a whole bunch of all the, the Facebook ads and, and all that kind of stuff. And um, it's... The amount of, like, the amount of budget we have for spending on advertising across social media is mind-blowing. Like, if I had that kind of budget, I kind of think, holy cow, like, where would I be in terms of streaming if I had that much money to spend? Obviously, if I was that big, I would have that much money. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's the whole, it, it feeds into itself. You you spend and you grow and then you make more money to spend and grow and et cetera, et cetera. But, um, yeah, it's a matter of, like, knowing how to make those ads, what's going to be the most effective way to capture that audience. Like, because you can't set a Facebook ad to only run while a person's live, for example. Unless you're running, you know, actually Facebook gaming, like streaming. Um, but yeah, it's all kind of... Yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, I did do a brief stint on Skillshare. Um, and there were a couple of things I did learn from a couple of videos that I watched, but I didn't I didn't have the time. Um, I, I only got halfway through a bunch of videos and then my, my 30 day trial or whatever it was was up because I just didn't have the time to sit and watch them. Um, which sucked because I feel like I could have learned a lot, uh, pot potentially. But I also might not have, and I don't know if it's, like, the amount that I'm, I would learn, I don't know if it's worth how much I would spend on, you, you know? Like, it's, it's really tricky. Really, really tricky. Um. Uh, so she, Lily Janik, which teaches influencer business, business management. Interesting. Okay. It means business confirmed always. Always. Um, but yeah, look, there are... Now that influencers are becoming a bigger thing, influencer management is absolutely uh, a target for educators as well. Um, because, you know, not everyone can get in and on the train and be an influencer. Like, it... it it's, um... You know, the, the very teeny tiny percentage of people are ever actually successful with that endeavor. Um, but those people are going to need support. Um, and so why not, you know, get your cut of the pie by by providing a service that the 14 year old on TikTok doesn't know how to do for themselves. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. Um, do I guess about makeup? Yes, it was the white skeletal war, uh, war horse. This is gonna hurt. No, that's no, fine. Um. Looks, yep, agreed. Um. Uh, right, where. Going. Where is another orb? That one. Yeah, it's uh, it's something I've tried to teach myself as best as possible. There's also um. If you, th th this is this is the kind of niche that um, GGWP are trying to fill. Oh, it's from up there. Oh, look, it's a cache. Um, GGWP are trying to educate creators, um, and they're doing a pretty good job of it. Doing a pretty good job of it. Um, they've also got they've got a premium offering now as well, which I've paid for. Uh, the only 
they, and they've got, um, so they're, all of their videos that are available for free are beginner videos, like beginner, this is how to stream and set up your things and blah, 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 blah. Um, and, and then covering a bit of like basic influencer marketing and things. Um, the videos that are available on the premium offering are intermediate, they're flagged as intermediate. I believe that they're working on uh, like advanced. But uh, I haven't had time to sit down and watch them. I, I, I have not had time to sit down and watch them. So uh, yeah, once, once surgery is done, <laughs> Once we're done with that shenanigans, um, I am, I'm really hoping that I can sort of get back on track with my growth and my posting everywhere and all that kind of stuff because uh, for a good long while there, uh, GG, GGWP has a leaderboard. That leaderboard takes into account the training that you've watched, um, your profile, uh, how much has been completed, your, your statistics on your social media and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it ranks everybody, just just for shits and giggles, you know. It's it's a fun little competitive thing, and for months I was at number one. Months, months, I was at number one. Uh, and I'm now third. Well, last time I checked, I was third. And I believe it's because I haven't watched the new training videos. I reckon if I do that, I'll probably climb back up to first or at least close to it. The other thing, um, the other thing, if you are. A content creator or even if you just want to learn about content creation you don't actually have to be one yourself if it's something that interests you in any way use my referral link because i get pushed up the ranking board if you use my referral link uh, <laughs> so um yeah and i believe that that kind of I mean, it is it is mostly just for funsies right but i feel like a big part of it when you're looking at the gigs and stuff like that, why wouldn't they look at the um, the rankings? Probably gonna hear a connecting noise shortly. Um, but yeah, like if you've got a bunch of people from this platform applying to be a part of your gig, and then you look at the leaderboard and one of them's in first place and one of them is in 724, fourth, who do you think's gonna have the bigger social reach? There you go, that was me. Um, so I feel like that kind of factors in. I don't, I'm like, I'm not sure if it actually does or not. That'd be entirely up to the client who's posting the gig, right? Um, but I think that it might affect it. So yeah, if, if you are curious to learn about content creation and how it all works and the type of things that you've got to consider when you're starting out, um, feel free to go and have a watch of their videos. And when you're making your account, use my referral link. Because who knows, maybe... Maybe you joining up will be the difference between me getting a gig and not getting a gig. Who knows? Like, I genuinely have no idea. Um, it's a fun thought though, isn't it? Um, so pretty cup. It is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. I like it a lot. Ah, oh, yay first. Time off the floods gonna help. Oh, this was before then. I, I dropped before the, before the floods. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely can't help either. Um, hello, Funky Fungus! How are you doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, did I finally get what I was looking for? I did! Oh, goodness gracious. Alright, Volatile Precursor. Found in the smaller forge on top may require several tries. Okay, let's let's give this a crack, shall we? Uh, I'm still in queue for Ashran. The average wait time is 14 minutes, and I've been in queue for 24. Uh, what are you winning today? Just dailies. Ah, uh, no, I'm actually cracking through some achievements while I wait for my queue to pop for PvP. Uh, what does it stand for? GGWP. Good game, well played. Uh, what is what you see like so when when people say like GG at the end of a game 
Uh, GGWP is what it used to be. Like, they, they used to say the all four, but mm, they don't do it so much anymore. Especially in competitive games. It's like a, you know... Oh, that was, that was fun. Like, you guys played really well. Well done. Regardless of whether they win or lose, you know, it's a uh, good sportsmanship thing. Ah. GG easy. Yeah, well. GG easy can come across as a little insulting as well. Like, good game, we fucking trounced you. That was super easy, because you played like trash. It's like, yeah, that, that's not gonna... That's not nice. God's sake, stop cursing me! There we go. I am incredibly squishy. Let me... There we go. Um... Uh... Should I get a base to for something else? Oh, no, it's just, uh, no. No. <laughs> Taking a well-known gaming phrase and kind of adopting it for their own purposes. Uh, chat, pick what my next character on Gilneas is going to be uh, out of... I'm presuming that's meant to be Orc. Uh, orc, Undead, Tauren, Troll, Blood Elf, Goblin, or Pandaren. I am uh, biased. Most of my characters are Blood Elf. Like, as in, out of all the races, I have most, the most Blood Elves. Um, so I'm, yeah, a little, little biased. So it's meant to be the, the little one on top. That little one, or is it the one up, up top, top? Smaller forge on top may require multiple tries. Maybe it actually does mean this one. And not like the one all the way at the top. Uh, a ton of organs? Fair. Fair. I mean, playing on Gilneas, it kind of makes sense. Go oh, undead. Go. Come on. Is this gonna be another thing where I sit in? Like last time we did Classic Cash Ran on stream, I sat in queue for actually like four and a half hours uh, and it didn't pop and it made me very sad. Refresh this. you left to get. That's good. One of them is this one, and then the other one is the thing I'm gonna have to collect tons of strands for. I wonder if I can actually land on the teeny tiny one. Maybe not with the- oh! <laughs> I was gonna say maybe not with the drake, and then the drake just kind of grabs it. Oh, okay, no. Down here. Oh. Some ephemeral strands, I'm waiting for it to reconnect, maybe. Reach reconnect, recharge. Words are hard. again. No. No, I'm waiting for the orbs to like recharge so I can pull stuff out of them like that. That's not what I was after, but that's okay. Because I know it will only come out of- Oh! What is that? Combine cosmetric circlet with 100 trace enigmit, 10 ephemera strands, and 5 Idolic particles. Where do I get the rest of those things? Now I get them now that I've got the circlet. Okay, I getcha. Okay. 
interesting. Um, two times quite a while, like heavy metal, so male undead dance. Um, what kind, what type, what do you mean what type of undead, sorry, does? What do you mean? Um... I don't know. Um, go click on me and find out. Because I, I put Fiamma as my first name and just grabbed like a super common surname to like stick that in there. The four largest balls, the map visible ones in the middle. Hey, okay. I see, I see. Oh, what class? Okay, that's not a type of undead. So undead is your race, and then all of those things you just listed are classes. No mati- Uh, death knight. Undead death knight. There you go. There we go. <laughs> I got there eventually. Chasing me, it's so pretty. It is the go. Something new every day. Especially when you're playing a new video game. Grumble. <laughs> Just let me grab it, why don't you? Okay. Ah, no big one. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Hey. achievement from this one. I still need two more idolic what's it. So let's <clears throat> do another lap or two. Hey exit, how are you going? Welcome on in. Crumb. Yeah, not doing too badly. How about yourself? A bit tired, but I mean, you know, what's new? Always tired anyway. Uh, who a new job by next week? Brilliant! Well, congratulations. Fingers crossed for you. I'm assuming you want one, which is why you're uh, looking or considering being headhunted regardless of... Okay, so this one hasn't recharged yet. That's right, let's do a bit of scouting around for others. <clears throat> I don't think the ones up the top get them, do they? No. Yes, good! Wonderful news then. With the curses. Stop.
Recharge faster. Rumble. So many of the bloody trace indigmits. I'm at 42 though, so I'm nearly halfway there. So that's nice, at least. Hmm. Charged yet? Yes. Still no rabbit from the top one though. I wonder, Jack, was this the one you had the most trouble with? Wait, hang on. Is it saying I've got it already? Ah! Oh. <laughs> I do. I've got it somewhere else. Brilliant! I am a numpty! Good. Okay, that's four. I only need one more idolic particle. And then I can use the- oh no, I still need the trace enigmas. Uh, when you're doing ATT, do you DE any soulbound gear for mats or just vendor it all? It depends. Um, so some things vendor for more than the enchanting mats will sell for. Or the enchanting mats are in so low demand that even if they sell for 300 gold, I'm probably not going to get that 300 gold. Uh, and I'm better off taking the 7 gold it sells for or something. So um, I use TSM, Trade Skill Master. And in my uh, tooltips, it says, so that's Soulband, for example, it says the sell price under durability is 42 gold, 15 silver, and 94 copper. And then the TSM general info disenchant value is 85 gold, 30 silver, and 20 copper. So that tells me I'm probably going to be better off disenchanting it, especially considering that it's current gear. Current gear, I mean, some things like weapons in particular might sell for like 150 gold. Or something. Uh, I'm wearing a figure 129 gold for a one-hander. Consider a two-hander. Uh, I think a 147 gold. But the disenchant value is is similar, the same. So in that case, it might be worth vendoring it instead because you'll get more gold out of it. But it's going to be different on your server. Every server is different. Um, every server is going to have different sale rates for mats, different value, like different price for the mats that they're going for on the auction house. All that kind of stuff so you will need to check for your own server stuff i do not have the information for other servers i just i don't have it um nor am i going to go and get it because it's like i no. <laughs> it's a lot easier for someone on the server to figure it out um but yeah old school stuff like when i'm farming old school raids and dungeons and stuff like that it, it heavily depends on the individual piece uh boes i'll usually sell as is uh, because a lot of people are keen for transmog and stuff. Um, but bop stuff, yeah, I, I check it. Um, I just see what the... What it will disenchant into and what that is selling for. <clears throat> uh, I think that that's what most people advise you to do as well. But uh, vendor price is lower than one gold, I do eat them. Enchanting mats are pretty cheap on my server vendoring items. Uh, usually better for me, for example. Yeah, for sure. It, it And it also depends on how much, like, time and effort you want to put into stuff. Uh, I know that Zygor, and I know an, a, a few other, I think a few other things. I know, but for me, I use Zygor. So I know that Zygor has a thing where it will sell soul, like, it will auto-sell soul-bound gear for you if, it's, if it thinks it's a downgrade. So um, it'll pop up, that's the window that you see. So it auto sells all the greys, but then it'll come up with that window of the list of items in it, in the middle. That's what that is. So if I do a raid, for example, and I get a ton of purples, uh, I open it up after that, uh, I have to open up a vendor, and it just uh, And then I can mouse over each one to see, and if I don't want to, I can just cross, like I can delete it from that one. But yeah, it's a, uh, if you've got an auto selling thing, Sometimes it might be worth, especially if you're busy or like your time is valuable. Everyone's time is valuable, but if you value your time to a certain extent, you might it might just be worth auto vendoring shit instead of trying to figure out all that kind of stuff. But it is entirely up to you. Very personal choice. Uh, for most mats, honestly, unless you have TSM set up to automate it, the effort in DEing is never really worth it. Yeah, like it's 
it yeah, it is it is a very personal call. I will absolutely vouch for that. Uh, it's more I might need the mats to complete a rare thing. There is a really easy way to figure that out without actually disenchanting it. Uh, and that's to, like, if you, uh, I don't think you can, no, but if you jump onto Wowhead and you grab the in-game item, or even into your, so let's say you're an enchanter, if you jump in, well, you gotta be an enchanter to disenchant things fair, good lord. Um, jump into enchanting, find something that uses that material, and type into chat box att slash, oh, uh, slash att space, link the item and it'll bring up a window showing everything that that item is used for that you don't already have. It's what ATT is for. Um, do keep in mind that when you're doing that you are probably going to want to, I'm in combat, I will switch in a second. Um, you, if Do keep in mind that um, you are probably going to want to turn account mode on for that um, so that you can see stuff that your alts might need, that your main doesn't necessarily because, you know, you're wearing cloth and an alt uses leather and you need one of those enchanting mats to make enchanted leather to make this piece of transmog, as an example. Um, I just got my fifth idolic particle as well. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, no, fuck this. I'm gonna end this. Go away. Bugger off. Um, but yeah, there are, there are much easier ways than wasting a ton of time disenchanting a crap load of gear. Uh, Booth, Neke, Meaty, Draz, Koala, V, Fade, Zam, and Zem. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. <clears throat> I do not value my time. You should. You should, because time spent disenchanting is time you could be spending making other gold. Like, legitimately. If you, if you sit there and spend two hours disenchanting a bunch of crap and none, none of it turns into gold, uh, then that is that is a couple of hours you could have spent farming for something that would actually make you some cash. Regardless of whether you think your time is valuable, it is. I guarantee you. Uh, hello, Neke. Yeah, I'm all right. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Farm so many random mats to make something from a fast expansion. Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely, especially if it's, if it's sitting there in ATT taunting you. Um, but don't just disenchant things in case, like, actually check. <laughs> Save yourself the time and go check. Much recommend. People need to learn to read what their key is. What? 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 What happened? That sounds really odd. Uh, almost all mats are so cheap that doing virtually any other gold gathering method and buying from the AH is cheaper and faster. Yeah. Yep. vendor the stuff and use that gold to buy exactly what you need, rather than hoping it disenchants into what you need. The item feature. Can we have some battle plans in SI? You mo most certainly can. There you go. This match has been split into two. People keep queuing one as the other. Right, okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> Hockey dokey. So all I have left now is the anima charge yoke, but I also have this circlet. Um, I need a hundred trace enigma, so I need 23 more of that. I've got my 10 ephemera strands, and I've got my five adolic particles. Um, when that hits 25, I can make an ephemera orb. Uh, but yeah, I just need to farm, I need to fly around, zapping balls, and hoping I get ephemera things at this point. Because I know I'm going to get the, the trace enigmas. I'm still in queue, by the way. Um, it's still there. I'm in the queue. It's just ticking away. Ah, oh, I'm guessing the trace hitting bits only come from in here. That's okay. Let's head back in here then. So. Yep. 
Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, that's 25 ephemera strands. I can make an orb and still have enough left for my circlet. That was trash. That was completely worthless. respawn i know but they take like five to seven minutes to read like they take a while it's not like a 30 second wait uh it's a hell of a lot faster me for me to fly around and uh tap different forges hell of a lot faster uh i just want to do streets for trinket got three of them uh, three of the other in a row oh gosh isn't that like fun uh should i this tables give me roughly five thousand gold for 10 minutes all in. TSM set up to do the crafting for current and old mats. I uh, realized it's really making gold on mats and crafting. TSM now set up to AH anything would make me significant benefit over market price. Spend the rest for need it and it's less than 10. I'll buy it when I need it for sure. Sure. Good luck on Promiski. Already got it. I got it for my first one. Um, that second one was just trash. So <laughs> I'm looking for the. Because there's a pet. And there's also the anima charged yoke, which I need for an achievement. So that's what I'm after. But that's okay. Oh, I've got a hundred. Hang on. Crap. Uh, let me assemble. Oh, cool. Awesome. Cosmetric. Oh, wait, is this for the... Wicked Poker Pock. Yay! The item to Fareem. We're gonna do that because I can get the ephemera threads literally anywhere. Where's Fareem? Oh, look! And I'm super close. Nice. Does it need the key? Have the pet and yoke. Oh, dear. To progress on from A to Zerith. There. Just got Adventurer and Doom Dominance. That's it. But that's all right. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You are interrupting my research. Leave me to my thoughts. 58. I don't think that's enough for me to research anything. I think 65 is my lowest. Yeah, 65 is my lowest currently. I'm getting there, though. Uh, I tried to set up TSM. I don't know the brand of computer. Correctly, but all the guys should work out what to keep. What can you think you'd sell something I later needed? This is the key though, Ali. If you sell it now and you need it later, you can buy it later for all the gold you're making through TSM. Trust me, I've done it too. And TSM, holy, holy shit. It's so much better for literally anything auction house related. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. I I would not even use the auction house if it wasn't for TSM. But as I stand, I post like 500 auctions a day. Like, it's, it's that worth it. Um, most of the auction house gold making YouTubers or streamers, stuff like that, will have like an import that, like that they have that you can just grab and go and then you just kind of add uh add items to the appropriate character categories as you go if it doesn't have them in there like it's it's not <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh it's well worth using Let's 
super easy to use too. Like once you've got it set up, which can be done quite easily with an import, um, it's yeah, super easy. Do you get more ephemera strands from the orbs in the middle? Is that what I'm gathering from this? I think it might be the case. I used to some specifically to buy stuff rating tunes, keep them stocked, get rid of all the crap I collect. Yep, pretty much. Add on to vendor greys, add on to stick the other things on the auction house. So now that I've done that Kismetric Disc uh, quest, um, it's the Provost Cage. Is there supposed to be something better in that, or is that just it? I feel like wasn't there some kind of mount with that disky thing? Strands are dropping much slower now that I don't have that quest. Be kind of a bit shitty. Wait, none. Look at you then. Let's just do a little at a time rather than trying to do it all at once. I know if you were saying I'm pointing other people's groups of operations. Personally, I feel that never work as well for you as your own setup. Yeah, but some people do not have the time to spend literally 12 hours setting up TSM, even if they do it over months. Like, it just... Especially if people don't get it. This is the other thing that people don't tend to factor into something like TSM, is exceptionally complicated. It is so complex. So complicated. And not everyone's brains work like that. I think you're better off just getting an import and then working on your own profile separately and making the money rather than waiting months and months and months only to scrap it later when you just throw your hands up in the air because you don't understand. Like, good lord. <laughs> um, uh, just start with big ticket items you pay attention to, so the min max normal prices for those one or two items. Just keep doing that until you cover all the things you actually post. Yeah, when you do, like... The issue with that kind of approach is if you're doing ATT transmog hunting, the number of BOE greens that you get is sky high. So I think it's far, far better. Even if you start tweaking the pricing and stuff later and shuffling groups around and customizing a pre-imported group, actually getting it in there and getting those items on the AH is a hell of a lot better than just vendoring or disenchanting them. You know, like, it just, yeah. This is what sales chance it up. It's not for me. I didn't realize the imports were so available. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really easy. You just gotta actually look for them, is the, the thing. Uh, right. Strange. Uh, auto vendor or BOE is below 150 gold. Fair. Totally fair. To each their own. Interesting, I thought it was gonna go for the big one. It did not. Oh, maybe I've already done the big one. Right, oh, six ephemera thingies. Are these ones gonna work or are they gonna be e heads? Be duty heads. Alright. Like, I absolutely understand the value of, of creating your own TSM profile. 100%. Because every server is different. Um, so every server technically should have its own profile and, and all that kind of stuff set up. But the average player does not have that time or the knowledge or 
or the desire to spend the time gaining the knowledge as well. This is the other thing. So in, in my mind, you're exchanging, it's, it's the value. Like what, what do you value more? The time spent setting it up and learning about, oh, right. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, you either spend the time learning or you get a bit less gold. For me, that sacrifice of gold is well worth not having to spend the time doing shit. Like, front up honesty. Like, that's, it is so much more worth my time to lose a bit of gold than it is to actually try to understand the economy of Saofang and Amanthal. Um, but again, to each their own. And I also only tend to sell stuff that drops. Like I'm not, there are some AHs out there who buy low, sell high. They buy stuff to craft and relist. They they do all this kind of, and it's amazing and incredible and they earn a crap load of gold and it's awesome. And I'm so happy for them. I don't care. <laughs> I am not doing it. I do not have that kind of time. Uh, so, yeah, like it's it it really really heavily depends on you individually and what you can slash have the ability to do, um, and and what you have the ability to learn and what you have the time to learn and stuff like that. Um, the the knowledge is out there if you want it. If you want to be a person who makes a ton of gold through the auction house, the tools are there. Go and pick them up. Learn how to use them and do your thing. It is well worth it for gold, but you do have to invest. You got to invest and not just gold, time and effort too. Any discussion of other things? Oh, you're very welcome. Oopsie. Hey, Solaire, how you going? Welcome back. You're having a wonderful day. Did I do this one? I don't remember. Did not happen if I'm restrained anyway. I need six more to make another roll. Right, the big ones don't work, do they? No, not anymore. Even when I was on that, what's it? Oh, got ups and downs, how about you? Oh, as always, you know, it is such as life. Such as life. You know, I'm not doing too badly. Not doing too badly. Hear me. There's this little green dot on my. chat box seemed to have reset itself. Apologies to anyone who has spoken after Solera, I have not seen it. Um. Oh, so I did miss Jack's message. Brilliant. Um. So 
Let's cruise with RL market. It's like a fun of in-game. It's annoying, yeah, but not, oh, they might make people homeless. True. Obviously, you know, it is, it is far less important to the grand scheme of the, like, life and the world and all that kind of stuff. But it's still, you know, it is still a thing. you feel like? A bubbly tea. Good. Yes, hey, um, are you, are you decent? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, come sure. here. Yeah. Come here. Well, 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 what the heck? Huh? Because I have a, I haven't looked at it yet and I wanted to see. I thought you might be interested. This takes so long to load. Uh, what? Really? Okay. <laughs> they literally asked, like, We had an unban request. Oh, right, back to what I was asking. Bubble tea. Yes. Um, what do we have? Fruit last time, right? Milky one. Any suggestions, chat? What flavor of milky bubble tea we should we should have this evening? That's right, I did. People wouldn't want to slash have the drive to learn how to do it themselves. Hadn't really occurred to me. It's for time, not really sure I agree there. Defaults will work well enough for random detritus, I think. As you progress and learn more, you can start trimming the fat, so to speak. But as you say, there are all sorts of people less convinced about the profile for every server, more of a profile for every mindset. Even if you and I played on the same server, my rules around what I would set as my min max price ranges and posting amounts would be different to yours. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Correct. But if you were that hard into it, you'd also have one a different one for every server cluster as well because every server cluster has a completely different economy. One server might really value transmog, but they don't give a crap about raid mats because there's no like massive raiding guilds who push mythic or anything. But there's a ton of like RP people who like love their transmog and stuff. Whereas on another server, they don't give a rat's ass about transmog, but they will drink up as many as many flasks as you put on the AH even if they're 250 a pot. Wasn't Bathless at 800 a pot for a flask? One and a half thousand for a flask. What's the, what is the flask called? Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Whereas they're 650. A third, nearly a third of the price on Saofang. You would not be able to use the same price per, if, if you were like hardcore into min-maxing your profit margins, you would not be able to use the same formulas on Saofang as you would. And that's at 112% price as well. 650 is 112% normal. Yep. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, like, if you, if you wanted to go hard, you would absolutely have a different profile per, per server cluster. Um, but yeah, no, I honestly think grabbing an import from anywhere is gonna work just fine. I don't know. Um, did anyone in chat give us any recommendations? Going up. Huh? Going down. No, I'm going up to see if I missed any messages because I was at the bottom of chat and chat goes up as it. That's not the time you What well, is? Because I asked somewhere around here. 
Uh, see you later, Kaz. I didn't know that that had happened. Hi, Sam. Ah, uh, just look. Hydrate. <laughs> Honestly, I don't get them very often. I had, I've had two in the last week, but I don't get them very often otherwise. We don't ban very many people here. Unless I'm they're like the, the bots the or like obvious. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I And I'm also not a person who has, you know, like 10,000 concurrents. And so we're banning people like left, right and center who actually genuinely want to apologize. Um, what are the options? Vanilla is not an option. What are the options? I think we've got Thai, strawberry, original, huh? milky kind. Stream Raiders. Yes, we do play Stream Raiders. Hello, Camera. How are you doing? Welcome on in. You know what I mean? I do. Is brown sugar an option? No. Do we have any brown sugar in the cupboard anymore? Or do we use it all up? Don't know. I think we actually do. We could technically no. add a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar instead of fructose to give the flavor to original milk tea. It's it's possible as well. I'm not saying make it more sweet. I'm saying replace the sweetener. Okay, make that's it different. Good. Um, so we could, we could butcher, like, we could do, like, like, homemade brown sugar. Um, strawberry, nobody hit a band now that I don't come around as much, no! <laughs> oh, so there. Too few now remember why the internet is a bad place. Yeah. Yeah. And the way that you access unbanned requests is really hella annoying, just by the way, because I don't use mod view. As a streamer, I do not use mod view. I use my dashboard and they're not on the dashboard they're only in fucking mod view so yeah just fun to act so yeah there was a couple of votes for strawberry i think he's annoyed at me um thai milk alia said thai thai milk tea is delightful isn't it like oh my god i mean not that strawberry isn't um but like thai is probably one of my favorite milky teas and then strawberry is one of Jess's because Jess loves strawberry milk like when when I go if I go to Woolies and I buy myself a treat uh, I'll often get Jess something as well because you know, he's my best mate and I want to I want to make him feel happy when he gets home from work and finds that there's a delicious tasty surprise waiting for him like that's you know that's cool I like that I like being able to make people happy um, and so what I'd usually go for is either uh, oak strawberry milk or there's, a, I can't remember what the brand is, um, but one of them does the caramelized chocolate, like the, like, it's like caramilk, but it's like gold, gold white chocolate uh, milk. Um, and, and those are like, yeah, in one or the other. Usually whichever one's more on special. Um, but you know, hey, gotta save the dollars. Even when you're going for treats, there's no harm in having a budget. I need five more of these bullets. <laughs> Four more. Four to go. Ah, ah, ah. Count with fear. This is mod view so I can see everything. Yeah, like my dashboard though has more info that is useful to me than mod view does. Like, you know, it's just, yeah. As a streamer, I need more info than, than mod view provides me. Um, and some of that stuff is not um, like knowing when my next ad is coming up. Ad manager? Not on the mod view. Uh, I know you guys have got quick actions, um, but like my my bitrate and stuff, not on mod view. Because mods don't need that much info. What the hell is going on now? What's... I just had a ton of drop frames and the game was locking up as well. It still is. Let me just have a look and see what's going on in the background here. Sorry. Um. Let's close that. That might be causing issues. It has in the past. It should be fine. That. Everything else should be okay. 
super odd. <sighs> My computer probably just had, you know, you know how you have like the Eureka, the aha moments? You, like your brain occasionally just all of a sudden, that thing I was trying to think of three weeks ago, the title of the song was blah, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like maybe my computer just had one of those moments. Because my drop frames are not going up anymore. Oh, I am having little lockups still though. Do I have a memory leak in an add-on maybe? It is going up, but not more than I would expect it to. Hmm. That is my favorite. Twitch then pop out moderator fear my unban requests. Noted. Because what happens is on my chat window that I use via OBS, the cog gets a little green dot on it, as in like alert. So I clicked it and I scrolled down and it said unban requests one new. If I click it, it has the little pop out arrow, but if I click it, it doesn't pop it out. It changes my chat window in OBS to the unban request window in OBS and then uh, like it's just it no it's so it's such bad design such bad design um but that's okay i got there i got there so what i ended up doing was going to my channel with it muted uh and then clicking the cog in chat there and then following it through that way and that took me through to mod view um good day david welcome in i hope you are well Welcome back. Oh, 15. Liz, can I have my achieve? Two out of three, I get the key. But no pet and no yoke. Let Have me I done something wrong? Sources. No. Is there some kind of prerequisite? that I need to be able to get the yolk. Have you been updating your drivers, etc.? Yes. <laughs> yep. Considering that doing this is my job. Um, yes, I, I always do that kind of stuff and I, I check add-ons and all that kind of thing. Um, but I usually, I do it, like I check for updates like, usually once a week, once a fortnight, because they don't tend to do updates faster than that unless something goes wrong, in which case, I'll notice <laughs> and and update it or I won't update to the bugged one and then by the time I go through to actually update it won't the, the, the hotfix will have been applied so yeah yeah I did not do that today that's not something that I updated today so yeah it's just really unusual but it's okay it's all right uh, this is no I'm not gonna be able to do this I'm a run you couldn't see. I accidentally face pulled like a ton of stuff. Hmm, I'm just my seven attempts. Oh, that's so many threads. Especially considering how like low drop chance the threads are to begin with. It's kind of gross. Draz, STB, Meaty, Krazzy, and Ali, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shoot. Did you get the pet in those seven as well, Jack, or no? <laughs> ah, cheer. Can I place another Templar? Can I place another temp? No. Can't place a bomber though, so let's do that. No pet yet. Threads seem to have a higher drop chance with big ones. It might just be confirmation bias. It seemed that they had a higher drop chance while I was on that kismet, like while I had that kismet disc in my bags. Honestly, I felt like it dropped a lot faster. Chicks over the rainbow. Oh, look at this. Oh dear. It's a lot of gold. A lot of gold. That yet? Does that have to keep going? Oh, um, do we want battle plans? 
I don't know, but I'm gonna do it while I'm here anyway, because I remembered this time, I don't often remember. If I ever don't remember to do battle plans and you need them for a quest, just let me know. I'm more than happy to pay, place them down, more than happy to. Uh, I just need to know that it's needed, that's all. This one. Not close enough. Must have already done it. I can't remember. People for quests and stuff. It's like you know, place blah 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 according to a battle plan. I assume. I don't get. I don't get those ones because I can't place battle plans until after I've placed my unit, and I don't get to place more than one. But yeah, I'm assuming that's what it says. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? I don't know who Mason is, but I, yes, I agree with the statement. I was a bit confused. Coordinates. But how are they coordinates? Coordinates usually have two numbers, not three. I'm still confused. Making sounds delicious. Wrong button. Five and forty sixty three. Oh right, okay. Because I thought I saw thirty-eight, sixty-five, and forty. Sixty-three was where I found it, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Good. Good. Look, I think. I think I maybe just be having some brain troubles today. Clearly. <sighs> but I mean, come on, you all knew I was an umpty, so it's fine. Alright, so. 7%. Yeah, it says 1 out of 20 in, um... Um, yeah, so when I when I hover over the thing, it says uh, one in twenty, like uh, one of the x x out of twenty attempts uh, for rarity. So that sounds about right. And then forty sixty three. Oh yeah, okay. So across the, yeah, just up here. I don't know why I was down there. I think maybe it was because I. Trying to get my, more of my, um... I have these two Trace Enigmets. I am assuming you cannot use the Trace Enigmets after you've done the Kismet Disc thing. Like, there's no use for them anymore and I can delete them. And, uh, all the Predator Materials, by the way. Really? Really? This might have been selling pretty well. Where's... Yeah, I kind of had a ton of those and they've all sold. Because people, like, they, don't they use them for the, uh... I've got something else I can use Silk and Protovive for. Is that for the, the upgrade items? I got a recipe today. Oops.
got nine. I'm sitting at nine. Achievement vendor for ten gold each. So yeah, yeah, the um the volatile precursor and the Empyrean essence, etc., etc. Yeah, cool. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I was so confused. I meant yeah, I thought you meant the stuff that's used for like the raiding, the new feasts and so on. I'm like, but why they sell for so much? No other use for them. Yeah, cool. Thank you for confirmation on that. Um. And thank you, Nutty, for helping to clarify. I, I very much appreciate. God, my- look. My brain really isn't working today, is it, guys? Like, like, really isn't working. It's kind of scary. Eleven. I've done this one, haven't I? And that one as well. My achievement for uh, clicking the orb at Antorus, uh, at, at Antros, sorry. Come on, it's literally Antorus. Anyway, um, Antros's orb to get the the damage boost aura. That was nice. I love that they have to put an achievement in to explain to people that it's something that they should do. Like, <laughs> it's great. There's rare printed material and there's also printed fresh stuff. Was it be confusing? Yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. I get that. It's all a bit, uh... Yeah. This is why I'm looking forward to sleeping during surgery. Honestly, I'm kind of scared. I have been told that recovery from this procedure should be easier than recovery from the last one. Um, because, and I'll, I'll have more energy faster because my body is not trying to grow bone, it's just healing a wound instead, which is quite different in terms of a body process. Um, but I, I get the feeling that it's, it's just gonna hurt so bad. Like... I'm pretty sure I still have my, uh my painkillers from last time and I'm sure they're probably gonna give me a new script if, like I might I might just check what I've got already um because you know if I don't need a new script then and if I don't need more drugs then why why get them because it's just more money right um but oh boy I'm I'm a little nervous something that's gonna be I know right but I have to uh, I would rather be asleep while they operate on my face. <laughs> or in my face. Another orb! Four down. That was trash. That was a really bad one. Morning boot. It's been a while. Hope everything's good. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Just tired as usual. But I mean, I'm probably. I'm sure. I'm. I'm fairly sure. I probably would have been tired last time you were here as well. It's not something that changes very often. Skill. Yeah, it's all, uh, it's all really interesting.
one. I've been in the queue for an hour and 26 minutes. The average wait time is 14 minutes. So I'm gonna leave. Why does it say join battle? I'm already in queue. Someone in your group is already queued for that. I'm not in a group. Leave queue. Let's... I think it might have been bugged, you guys. Oh dear. That's okay. Close to getting another achievement, at least. Is this achievement only worth like 10, like the other ones? Or is it like, is it, is it five? Are they gonna spit in my face and make it five? Oh, at least it's a 10. Oh, and I get a pet as well. Okay, oh, not a pet, a toy. That's nice. Everything. That's a lot. Uh, everything for Mage. Um, my my account wide is only just over fifty percent. Uh, but this is my main, and I have been playing her since the start of BC. So a lot of that stuff I kind of got while it was current. You know what I mean? So I kind of feel like it cheated a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Honestly, I've done a lot. And look at how much green there is. I mean, there's a little bit of yellow. We just ignore that. But like, there's so much just green, which is which is nice. So yeah, look, I'm. I'm definitely not upset about it, that's for sure. Yeah, it is account mode, and I am on um, unique appearances and stuff like that as well. Like, uh, they do have, there is like an insane mode uh, where, like, you know, you activate these particular settings and it, it it's a whole lot more, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm good with what I'm doing at the moment. I'm feeling pretty good about my progress and, and still making progress, which is nice. And I'm nearly halfway for, for Zareth Mortis as well, which I'm I'm very happy about. Uh, of course, it's going to get to the point where um, I can't do much with Zareth Mortis and I need to like wait for a certain thing to happen or whatever. But until then, I'm, uh, I'm pretty I'm going pretty well. Just to see that, yeah. I uh, look. I may have the insane title, but I am good currently with my my current uh challenge level I was in the old days where it was really insane yeah I can imagine let's swing back and go around stuff is pet and mat crafting and those sand things yeah I still yeah it's just that one last... Um, actually, I've got quite a few of the Sandborn relics. Um, are they? Uh, 218 so far. That's not too bad. I feel like that's kind of respectable. Mm -hmm. It's easy cheat mode now. I would disagree. There's still a lot of stuff, even though you can go in and, and you know, gather in the entire dungeon and do one arcane explosion and everything's dead. There are still a lot of things that have extremely rare drop, like extremely low drop rates and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I wouldn't say it's cheating, uh, nor would I say that it's easy. Um, it's easier than it was, sure, absolutely. But um, I still wouldn't say it's easy. Oh, the insane title is easy now. No, I, again, I disagree. It might be simple, it might be straightforward, but it still takes a hell of a lot of effort. Like, hours invested into into doing bits and pieces. Um, it's not something you can accidentally stumble across and do, nor is it cheating. Thank 
that no matter when you get those kind of achievements, it's still a bloody achievement. Ooh! Okay. So you're a troll then. Brilliant. Uh, it was ripped going back in the day. It wasn't exactly challenging content when it was current either. No, it was still very, very time consuming though. But it is still time consuming. Um, except, I mean, you can buy the lock boxes and stuff. Like, you're not, I'm not off the AH, but you can find somebody to farm them and then purchase them off them and all that kind of stuff. But it's, uh, it's still not, um, Still not easy. Crazy cat lady tell the other day. Hey, you have to hold me over until I have another rep granny me. Absolutely. Congratulations, Koala. Well done. Uh, isn't much that is challenging, just takes a lot of time. Um, yeah, but for some people that is a challenge. Um there's a you gotta remember that the player base of WoW is aging. Um, just like the game. <laughs> The, the people who were able to put in hundreds of hours a week back way back when can't do it anymore because a lot of them, not all, but a lot of them have full-time jobs or spouses or children or other, you know, other responsibilities that mean that their gaming time is restricted. And so something that they may have found you know, really, si like it is, it's simple, but something that they could have just bashed out in the, in a course of a week, you know, a decade ago. It, it takes some months and months, even up to a year nowadays, just because we have lives, we have other responsibilities, we have stuff to do. Um, that's still, it is a different kind of challenge. A challenge of, of persistence and a, a challenge of consistency and, and a challenge of, um, of uh, uh, patience rather than a challenge of having to press buttons at a precisely timed moment to to make the thing happen so that you can do this other thing so that uh 40 uh, so that uh 39 of your closest friends can do their bit do you know what i mean like it's it's just it's a different kind of challenge doesn't make it any less challenging just a different kind of challenge I'd argue a lot more stuff in current where I was challenging, see so rape with the cluster cheese, mage terror and stuff. Uh, I've been in since alpha, I'm one of them that can't use the hours I want anymore. Uh, so 39 friends can wipe, yeah basically. <laughs> but yeah, still challenge, like definitely challenging. Just a different kind of challenge, hey. It's in difficulty rather than time investment. Yeah, oh for sure, and there, there are, um, I think the, the key here is that um, back in, in classic and BC and stuff like that, Raids, raiding, was a larger portion of endgame content. Like a larger percentage of endgame content consisted of do this raid. And it was a different kind of challenge. Having to get a bunch of people together at the same, like online at the same time, and then coordinate those people to do the, the particular tasks that were required to defeat the boss and blah, blah, blah. Different kind of challenge. Very challenging. Do not get me wrong. Very challenging. Different kind of challenge. Whereas nowadays, raid, and and even if you add Mythic Plus on top of that, it's it's a much smaller percentage of what end game is consist, consists of, which is great because a lot of people enjoy the game, but don't want to raid or Mythic Plus, or they don't feel that they have the time to commit to those activities. And so there's a lot in the game, in end game, that they can do without having to involve, without having to commit blocks of time. If someone can't sit there and play the game for four hours straight, but they can play for 20, mi 20 minute blocks throughout the week, they can still accomplish some of these things. You can't really do much of Raid in 20 minutes. You, you can't, 20 minutes is the amount of time that it takes to get everyone online and summoned to the bloody instance. But 20 minutes is a whole ton of rep farming, or, or rare farming, or catching battle pets, or you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, there's a lot more end game that is catered to people who don't have big blocks of time to be able to play. And I think that's great. It's good that they're catering to multitudes of different kinds of players. And it's all challenging, it's just different kinds of challenges. Uh, 
Ah, uh, 10, 20 hours grinding, getting ready for the one to two nights of raiding. Yup. Uh-huh. Yup. I love the content I can do without raiding. Isn't it awesome? The game is changing. The game is not what it used to be. It's very, very different. Some of those things, potentially not so good changes. Some of those things, fucking phenomenal changes. Really good changes. And of course, what you consider on either side of that spectrum depend on how you play as well. <laughs> but I honestly do feel that there is something for everyone in this game. It's just a matter of, is there enough for you to make it worth the, uh, the sub? And that's a question everyone has to ask themselves if they want to play. Um... Uh, this and also bosses have many more mechanics. See, Holondra, Holondra does not have a lot of mechanics. It really doesn't. Uh, it does relative to old WoW, but like, uh, there's five mechanics. Yeah, not much at all. I'm just to run old dungeons or in hope for a mount just for fun. Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> Preach it. Um, so the reason, like, bosses are more complex these days. But that's because, from my, from my perspective, my opinion, it's because Blizzard have to write raids to still be challenging in the era of bigwigs and DBM. So back in the day when you had a boss with like two mechanics, half the bloody challenge was, when is that mechanic coming? What's like, how long have we got? Like, do I have to save my cooldowns? Can I use something? Can I heal this person? Do I have to wait? Like, when do I need them to be topped off? Because I can spend all my mana right now topping them off. And then if the thing, the thing doesn't come for another 20 seconds, and they're not topped off anymore, they're gonna die. That was half the fucking challenge. But now, that's not a challenge anymore. Oh, it's fine, I'll just save my cooldowns because I know it's not coming for 17 seconds. Sorry, 17.2 seconds. So Blizzard had to shuffle things up, make things more complex so that it was still challenging even with those add-ons. I don't think they did too bad a job. I think there are like the 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 raids, particularly this uh, sepulchre. I really like the encounters that I've come across so far. Um, I've I've done I've seen Anduin like twice, um, and I've done the rest of the bosses on normal, granted, uh, up to that point, just to kind of give you a frame of what what my reference is. Um, and I've found that the bosses you have to pay attention, but. It's not hectic. Like it's not losing my mind. What the hell is going on? Why is this happening? Where is where that? Like it's not. It's it flows. It flows. All of the encounters so far have just flowed really nicely. Um, there's a lot to do, and you're constantly doing something. But it's just, yeah, it works. I think it works personally. Obviously, everyone else may have you know different experiences. It, I think it'll heavily depend on the raid, the group you're raiding with as well. But, um, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. Um, about changes compared to what you want for the game. Exactly. Absolutely. Everyone wants something different out of their gaming. The era of Bigwigs DBM. We core is data mining and the race to world first. Yep, especially doing the bosses without add-ons. Yeah, that's, um, that's a, that's a different level of, of... Difficulty. Very possible to do bosses with that add-ons at the moment default. UI has improved a lot. It has, yeah, it absolutely has. Uh, especially with things like the system messages popping up. Um, all that kind of stuff has really helped. As well as uh, a lot of the more complex ones. Uh, it has a voice line that it'll do. Then the boss will do a particular animation. And then three seconds later, the damage hits. Like, you've got quite a bit of time to prepare. You just need to know what you're looking for. Um... A lot of, for example, LFR raiders probably won't pay attention that closely. Um, but if you're if you're in a progression guild where that's kind of what you need to be doing, then it is it is definitely possible to do it without add-ons. It just obviously makes it a lot easier if you've got them. It's tricky, especially on mythic. Yeah, absolutely. In the old days, you didn't really have add-ons. So, it's kinda... You needed to just kinda get by on what you had. 
But then, yeah, as as the game has evolved, so too has all the bits and pieces we use with the game. For sure. Uh, Mythics are like raid was in the old days. So that was top tier. No add-ons, no simming, minimal guides. Yep. Yep. Didn't really have, like, you know, 17 years ago, the internet wasn't as uh, vast as it is now. There wasn't, like, these central websites that everyone knew about, or most people knew about, that you could go to where some, you know, expert on the game had written up a guide on how to defeat this or that or the other, or, or what your best in slot gear was, or, no, nah, you just kind of... Something dropped and you went, oh my god, look at this! Yep. <laughs> the game has changed, we have changed, the internet has changed, the world has changed. Sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. But it has changed. Gotta, gotta just get on with it. Work with what we've got now. one more thread. One more. I wish these two sources were worse for my character. I'm going to get told this is good for you or not. Not that I don't like it, you know. It, it's, yeah, like, it's a lot better for, you know, you have your books, you know, notebooks, uh, like, notebook upon notebook of, of theory crafting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then you had things like Raw in R-A-W-R, which was a downloadable program that would sim your druid, and then they expanded to different classes. And then you had Ask Mr. Robot. Now you've got raid bots and, like, all that all that math you used to have to do yourself is uh, now done for you. Which is great, because it means you have to spend less time doing that. You can just plug your stuff in, chat to a friend, chat, and then uh, open up a and go, oh, it's done. Cool. Equip that. Yep. Nice and easy. Uh, so that's my fifth orb, and I still haven't got my uh, anima charged yolk. No, it's a yolk. I'm just being a little bit silly. But I'm at 46.94% completion. I noticed that the um, ATT Mini shows stuff that isn't shown as part of the... Uh, Outdoor Zones section in ATT. Which is interesting. Um, thank you! You okay? Yeah. I don't know, it was fun attempting at the end of fire without having looked at it ever. It was hilarious. I was cackling. It was great. Uh, they play 90% of the player base, that's an theme to them. Yeah, look, a lot of people, you know, they yell at you if you haven't read 300 guides on day 0 0.5 of the of the patch or whatever. Um, and I, I get that, I get that. But at the same time, because I've had so many years of raiding, like so many years of raiding, um, and when I started out raiding, I participated in theory crafting. I participated in writing our strategies back when, you know, strategies weren't a big part of... of the websites and stuff. Ice, Fairy, Brick, Mart, Ali, Stoll, Draz, Krazzy, and V. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Um, but, so because I partook in the writing of strategy guides back when that was happening, um, like strategies for, like guides for my guild kind of thing, the guild that I was in, uh, nowadays, <laughs> I like if we approach a boss like uh, on, on Monday, Half those bosses I'd not seen before. 
And I mean, we, we had kind of basic sort of descriptions on. Thank you. I had to make sure it didn't burn. Sure. Are you are you okay? Yeah, there's just honey in the chicken. Oh, and every a, time I usually cook with honey in the chicken, the fire yeah. alarms go off. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, it looks perfect. Yeah, but does it taste good? Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Thank you. Um, mm. so those bosses on Monday, if you were watching stream, oh, sorry, Monday, Wednesday, um, if you were watching stream on Wednesday, you would have seen we'd get to a new boss and I'd open up the dungeon, I open up the adventure guide, the journal, dungeon journal thing, and I'd check. And I'd read it and I'd be like, okay, so that particular mechanic I have to stand in. That, me that mechanic means I have to spread out. Um, I have to click something there. Um, and I have to interrupt this. I'd be like, okay, cool. Let's give it a go. And like, I'd maybe have one or two where I'd go, oh, okay, so that's what that does. But the vast majority of the, um, the vast majority of the stuff that I'd see would work the way I expected it to. And so I'd already know a strategy. I might not know where a warrior, not a tank. God damn it. Um, I might not know exactly where they're going to drag the boss to because that's an individual, like a guild or a group strategy. But I know what the mechanics are going to do. I know, I don't, I may not look, know what they're going to look like, but I can watch for cast bars. And if I see a big circle of something, I can step my foot in it and then check my combat log and see what it's called, what the, what the damage was called. Okay, so that's that. That's what that particular mechanic looks like. Um, but that is a skill. That's a skill, and I developed that skill over the course of years. I don't write. Str I don't write strategies anymore because I don't raid a hardcore like that anymore. But it's super goddamn useful that I feel like I can step into a dungeon never having read anything, have a flip through the adventure guide, and not wipe my team. <laughs> you know, that's that's all it takes. Um, and it is absolutely something that it is a skill and because it's a skill, not a talent, like talent often comes, it, like it, it's something that you're born being able to do, like, like rolling your tongue, talent. Can't really, can't really teach that. It's a genetic thing whether or not you can do it, um, <laughs> literally. But skills can be, can be learned. They can absolutely be learned. Um, it just takes a bit of effort. So yeah, it's, um... It is quite a bit of fun being able to walk in there and read that and be like, oh yeah, so that's what that's going to do. And then see it and be like, yes, I thought so. It feels nice. I like it a lot. Um. Hmm. It's not common. We usually speak people have a very base idea. I'm not good at reading up on everything. Well, especially if you like, depending on how far you expect to go and in what time frame. Like, not only did you guys so so last week, you got three bosses. You got three bosses on Wednesday, and then you got three bosses on Monday with some pulls on the seventh. So like six killed seven total, right? I do not think that any of you were expecting to walk in there on Wednesday and kill not only everything prior, the everything, all six you've done before, but also get a kill on the seventh. And on what, the first pull? <laughs> like that is unexpected. That is unexpected. So not having read up and formulated a plan for the, for the eighth boss, I feel like that's understandable. Like, I think that's okay. Um, is people rush through it, get bored because it's all over for them in a matter of weeks. Yeah, they push, 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 push. Oh, and that's look, that's okay. That is a type of play. Uh, but it, people get frustrated because then there's nothing else for them to do in WoW. Whereas the 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 gist of that should be, we burn through this as quickly as we possibly can because it's out. The challenge for us is how fast can we do this, and then once that challenge is completed. That gives us time to explore other parts of WoW or other games while we wait for the next set of challenges to 
be released, you know? But that's not how people think. Especially because WoW is a subscription-based game. Which, you know, for better or for worse. I like going to Group Finder. Uh, or that knowing nothing is kind of eh, but if it's a guild, then that's up to the guild how they handle it. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, get, like, organized groups that gather regularly are going to be far more, like, structured in terms of that kind of stuff. Usually. Not always, but usually. And is a different beast. Agreed. Okay, and Blizz try to stretch it out, and they complain about time gating. Correct. Correct. Usually read the journal and the fight. If people are slow to learn, I prefer for them to watch a video. Well, it's not necessarily slow to learn. It's that people learn differently. Like, I learn by reading. I can read something, and then I can visualize that and translate that into my gameplay. Not everyone can do that. Um, not not that I'm bragging. It like I I learn tech. Um, I, I I'm great with text based learning. Some people need visual learning. Some people need hands on learning. Some people can watch seventy seven videos and still not get it until they actually experience each and every mechanic for themselves. Like it's just the way that that person learns. Um, and a guild leader or a raid leader needs to understand, just like a teacher, needs to understand that there are all these different types of learning. Uh, a guild leader needs to understand that there it's not going to be flawless attempt one. People are not going to get it attempt one. It's going to be like a cool, so we've wiped, now everyone has seen mechanic X. Now we're going to jump in and get everyone to make sure that they can see mechanic Y. You know, it's like when, there, when there's a wipe, if you're on a progression fight, if you die, you do not leave the computer. If a wipe is called, you do not stand up and go away if you're already dead. You stay. Because as the wipe is happening, new mechanics you may not have seen will be occurring. And your raid leader, good raid, like really good involved raid leaders are going to be saying, see that? That right there is what I was talking about. That white circle is the one that everyone's gonna have to jump into. Obviously this is a wipe, so don't worry about it. But when that happens next time, that is the thing I need you all to jump into. It's you continue the education by showing people what it looks like, even if they can't actually complete the action. But yeah, it's um, like learning is a, it's not a passive activity. You need to like the, the, the the educator is engaged and active, but the learner also needs to be engaged and active, and that, that goes for progression rating as well. Um, Jess sounds exhausted. He does, doesn't he? I'm sure he probably is. I haven't had a chance to ask him about his day-to-day -day yet, but um, I will later. I'm mostly good videos. I like Hazel's let them see stuff they should watch for. Yep, absolutely. And by doing Mythic Trap is best. Mythic Trap is great with all the gifts of all the different mechanics and things like that. And also, you know, like, you know, eh, blah, blah, blah mechanic. It does this thing. It is a white circle and it has the tooltip of it and everything. And what do you do? Run. But it's just such an easy, like, you can skip all the tooltips and stuff if you don't need to know exactly what's happening and you do not care. Watch the gif. It tells you to run. Watch the gif. It tells you to stand in it. Watch the gif. It says kill this quickly. Like, do you know what I mean? It, it's really simple yeah really simple straight to the point i like it a lot i stream in the background kind of distracted i had a read lead again <laughs> totally fair totally fair i would never have expected you to be active in chat while read leading absolutely not you have a job you're doing it go you um i'd like to be like i'd like to be okay like, I'd be perfectly content and able to be in world first groups who predicate the guides, but I hate their culture, so no. Yeah, no, well, I mean, some of their culture is absolutely horrid. Yes, some of them. Not all of them, though. I imagine that some of them are like families. They spend that much time together and, and that much time, you know, helping each other out and working together to achieve goals as a group. It'd, it'd be like a family. Um, as well as, you know, the support staff on the outside, you know, posting shit to social media and, and you know, coordinating who's going to be in this attempt, who's going to be in this group farming for gear, who's going to, like, all that coordination in the back end. And the coaches as well, who go and do the research while the players are grinding out the gear. <laughs> like, I think it'd be, it's an immense machine of people putting this stuff together. Um... 
but the, the the culture is competitive. It has to be. If they don't if they don't place in the world first race, they don't get paid because the sponsorships will dry up. It's it's that simple. They have to push hard. They're athletes. They have to push hard. They have to train hard. They have to go 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 go. That is their job. That is their job. It's not just culture. It's that's how they have to work it. Else they don't have a job anymore. Uh, we're 8 of 10 going in blind. We've been enjoying messing around in normal. I love that. That's awesome. We need to do LFR runs still. Oh, you've got a little while. you got the weekend at least. I'd probably honestly do it tomorrow. Oh, actually, tonight wouldn't be a bad idea either because it is Friday night. So you probably have a few people around. Um, but failing that, tomorrow is always a, a good time to do it because there'll be a ton of players around. Yeah, once upon a time, we're too old and cynical for that. I don't have the time. I know it's a big time investment, and I appreciate why. And it, it needs that, like, that time needs to be invested in order to be able to get the results. Um, but I, I don't have the time to commit to that kind of stuff. I barely have the time to commit to a, a super casual normal guild, eh, Krazy? Like, I mean, normal at the moment. I know you guys push heroic as well, and that's, you know, we'll get there when we get there. Um, but, like... <laughs> You know, I barely have the time to do that, let alone anything uh, anything higher or harder or more often or, yeah, nah. And I'm, I'm cool with that. The, the, the struggle arises in people where they recognize that they don't have the time or energy or whatever it is to do this thing, but they still really want to do it. And they try to commit the time, but they can't. And other things keep popping up and they just kind of like, it, it, yeah. They're recognizing what you're capable of. And it doesn't mean like your skill level. It just means your availability and stuff like that as well. Recognizing what you're capable of and what you're not capable of is is super important. Um, which guy's great. Uh, over and over. Um. 10% they did. Expecting you to rip through like we did. Yeah, nah. Neither. It was kind of hilarious. Um, set up. Ah, fantastic! Well done, Dwelling. Congratulations. You've done as well as everything. Surprise. Yeah, that, that was absolutely a surprise. Hmm. Crab nerf plus crab practice equals dead crab. And, and schematic for fear. Very happy about that. If they do, it won't be for like a decade, Skull. Um, so, like, the thing with Microsoft is they're not going to touch anything Blizzard related. For a, so, like, the the buyout hasn't happened yet. Like, they've like they've they've submitted intent to do so, but it hasn't actually happened. Um, they've got to jump through all the the regulatory hoops and stuff like that to get to be allowed to actually make the purchase and then once they have they're gonna sit the fuck back they're gonna stop they're gonna watch they're gonna learn absolutely everything they can because they bought a profitable company they want to make sure it stays profitable and part of that is learning what makes it profitable how they operate how they interact with the player base all that kind of stuff they're gonna learn all of that and that's gonna take them literally years Deep diving, like deep diving into every single person's role and how it all works together, how the machine operates, inspecting every cog to see how it works. Then they'll start making small internal tweaks, things like maybe consolidating roles or bringing in new assistants in areas, like, you know, actual assistant blah 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 people in areas that might not have had them before. So shuffling around uh, work, uh, shuffling around like uh, workforce things, teams, you know, all that kind of stuff to, and just sort of testing things out and seeing how it operates with the new changes and stuff like that. And that again will take years before it even gets to external stuff that we can see. It will be a long time before anything like that happens. And I doubt, like, I do not think that they would include it in Xbox Game Pass because it's not going to make them any more money. 
unless they can see a distinct, like, you know, the Venn diagram of people who have Xbox, uh, Xbox Game Pass, and people who have WoW subs, if it's like this, then maybe they'll merge them. But if it's like this, they're not going to gain, like, it's... Oh, sorry, if it's a massive overlap, then they might merge them. I got the wrong way around. But if it's not, like, why would they... They're getting money from both of these places. Why... why it just... From a financial kind of perspective... That, wait, hang on. Did I get it right the first time or the second time? They're going to do whatever makes more, the most money for them. Basically. My brain is really not functional at the moment. I'm, I'm so sorry. I know, I know it's really quite embarrassing. Um, and I've probably said something extremely wrong. But... It will not happen for years because they need to be damn sure that it's going to result in an increase in profit for them because they're a business and they have shareholders and they, according to US law, must do everything in their power to ensure dividends for their shareholders. Capitalism, baby. The other option is that they include it in the Xbox Game Pass and bump the price up by quite a bit. But we'll see. We'll see. Um. There goes. Oh, there you go. We find lettuce. Um. Pretty sure I don't actually need any more of those. Oh, they're, th they're only a K on the auction house. Jesus. Okay. Ah, uh, smash them all on Monday, man, so long as we killed the crab quickly, we were set. Ah, uh, no one looks like a crab first, I'm all there for it. What's we doing? I don't go down surprisingly easy once you get fast 50. Experience mechanics. It's nice to see things haven't found many videos. Enough to the point for me to totally get it. 8K is already looking specifically for a lust with a hunter already in the pot. Survival as well. It doesn't make goddamn tanking trinket from streets. Three healers must have two set minimum for a 15. Good luck with that, buddy. Uh, if my lead's back on Unholy first run this week, guess what I got? I cannot fly in Shadowlands, but others can. When do you unlock it? I looked it up, but it doesn't make sense to me. Um, it's through gameplay. You need to get to 60, firstly. You must get to max level, and then you need to play through your Covenant campaign. Uh, there is a rent because you because you don't have a character at 60 and you don't know anything about Covenants, it's not going to make sense to you. But Covenants have a mechanic called Renown, which is kind of like leveling up your Covenant. It goes from level one, like Renown one, all the way up to Renown 80. And I think it's at 45 or 55 or somewhere around there. I can't remember exactly. That is when you learn how to fly. And it just happens naturally by doing your Covenant questing. So you need to get to 60 first. Um, there's, a lot, there's, there's a lot that goes into it. But as you play, you will naturally tick off the things that need to be done. Uh, you just can't yet because you're not 60. Um, it's tied to achievements. Uh, Storyline. The world first groups great to be in. The ones below that, the ones that think they're hot shit, are the bad ones. Correct. 100%. Alright, you get that Lego yet, Chris? Stay for minutes. Amanda Sarah more and coffee. Yeah, but again, that's not going to make any sense to someone who hasn't hit 60 and has never played at this level before. Um, I need friends to make tall shit. Not need ATC mount this tier. Just click on to level. Yeah, after pushing in BC, being level 30 clear. Okay, strict 10 band guild. Can't see the point in pushing anymore that I do. Absolutely, for sure. Love my time pushing those days. Too old and broken for that now. And you have higher priorities. You have literal children. Literal dependents, tiny humans, who without you, they would die. You have you have more important stuff to deal with, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. This is literally, so like the world first people at the moment, it's their job. Like you have a job that you go to every day and then you come home to your, your, your kids and then you're gaming and all that kind of stuff. But this is, they don't, they don't come home from anywhere to, the, this is their job. Their job is push hard kill bosses, get gear, like that's, yeah, so it's, yeah, totally understandable. Um, this Covenant storyline, you will experience it when you get to 60. This is like, so yeah, guys, when people ask questions, uh, and it seems like it's like a really simple answer, usually it's because they do not have any game experience and you need to wind it right back. Step one, 
get to level 60. For God's sake. All right, that's six of them. Jack, number seven. You said seven. This is it. Only number seven. I'm really behind in chat. I'm still seven minutes behind. I'm trying to catch up. It's just not... Um... Yeah. Uh, I'm museum. I find more records more from church. I can't find rares because they die so quickly since people fly to them. Uh, that's why I told you earlier. Camp one. Pick one that's not on your list and camp it. You'll be there for about half an hour max before it pops. Or... Go to that one and then look in group finder and see if you have a, if there's a group up for that particular air. Now that people have flying, they're all gonna fall over super quick. There's no point trying to chase them. You will not get there in time. Just pick one or pick an area where there's like a cluster of them like this. Excuse me, and camp all those. Anything further than that, don't bother. Ashen, something you get when you hit 60. Hit the shadow lines, a covenant. It should be they don't have a covenant, they're not 60. Guys, I know I like this is why I say, you know, you know when people ask like what what inf what tips do you have for new players? And I say find someone who will answer your exact question and nothing more. This is what I'm talking about. Literally, the most basic of answers. Start from the very beginning. First step, you hit max. Second step, pick a covenant. Then you have a box up the top here that has your covenant stuff on it and they give you quests and you do them. Do you know what I mean? Like, like super, super basic stuff. Um, when people said it was fun, as far as I've gotten, I didn't get the center of the my salt. One doesn't give cinders, won't be able to fly to getting to 60, choose your covenant, etc. Learn level one and two solo, that's what shit we have Or didn't know that at the time. So find more enjoyable as people said, obviously not playing about CD just there anymore. Random Revenge Earth and strictly following each other on the storyline. Yep, you are not yet at max level. Hit 60 first. Um uh, where he is from maybe can you 60. Hey, well done, you're almost there! Uh, one of the best is a group up, southeast and northeast is a good one rares. Being kids back here, never like enjoy stream. Will do, Cassie. Enjoy the kids. Uh, so I think if you're online chat, been playing for like two months now, got my second month sub. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, this is this is like this is what I what I mean. Like a lot of people come in here saying, hey, do you have any tips for a new player? And my biggest tip is just play. Don't don't worry about any, just play. Just for, it's, um, WoW has become really great at, like, like, breadcrumbing you from place to, like, once you finish a thing, the NPC will give you a quest that'll send you to the next bit. Just, just keep going until you run out of stuff. <laughs> just keep going until you run out of stuff. And if you do come across things you have questions on, fuck. What the hell does that do? Find someone, like find a friend or something like that, who will give you an answer to just that question. Only the question you've asked, not 10 years of backstory and why it's there and blah, blah, blah. Like just literally a very, very simple, maximum one sentence answer to that individual question because information overload is real. You currently do not need to know anything about covenants just yet. You'll, you'll be, you will have been learning bits and pieces about them as you've leveled as long as you've been reading the quests, which I'm assuming of course you have, because it's your first time through and you're interested and curious about everything. Uh, and that's all you need to know at the moment. When you get to level 60, a thing will happen and it will direct you to pick someone to work with. Once you get there, the rest of it will open up and you'll, you'll understand. And that's, that's all it takes. Like, Wowhead is crap at giving, like, Wowhead is really, really good at giving, like, a guide step-by-step step of, of where to go and what to do and stuff. But if you're reading, like, Wowhead comments on how to achieve it, no. Absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, Wowhead is, like, the guides are great for new players. They can be. But they do assume a certain level of prior knowledge. Um, and if you don't have that prior knowledge, the guide won't make any sense. Um, yeah. I 
think the classic Ashran Q's a screwed. Um What a time on Clean I did the other day. E it happens. Please wear ahead if I'm completely confused about how to do something. Most information can be found in game these days, but Wowhead definitely does help with a lot of like the little finicky things um, that aren't entirely obvious at first glance because they're not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a tricksy little thing you're meant to figure out. Um, but uh, look, I have limited time to play. So I go to Wowhead because it tells me what coordinates to go to and then I get my thing that I want. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's a, uh, yep. Symphony's baseball rail always miss little details. Yeah. Yeah, look, um, honestly, the storytelling in Shadowlands I've found to be really awesome. Whether or not you like the story itself or not, like speaking to everybody else here, I don't care whether or not you like the actual, the overarching story. That's not what I'm talking about. I've loved like the going through each of the four zones and learning about the denizens and what struggles they've been enduring and, and helping them figure stuff out. Like, it's been a journey. Like it's been so much fun. So I definitely recommend like actually listening to what they say and reading the stuff and it it really does help with like the end game stuff and understanding why what is happening is happening uh but yeah it's uh you'll get there but the answer to your question is you can't get flying because you're not 60 yet Uh, here's where I have a quest help. Don't know what add-on does it turned around. Oh, wait. It does it, but I can right-click a quest in the map and get a direct wow head link. Oh, that's awesome. That's beautiful. I'm doing a quest and I've run around the area looking for an entrance to cave. There's six different cave entrances and I keep going to the same one because I got turned around. I'll see if there are coordinates for the cave entrance. Correct. Yep, absolutely. Yep, me too. I understand entirely. Because it happens more often than I would like to admit to. This anime yoke can like. It's being a really big meanie. Don't like this at all. It's fine, I will do it and I will get it. Hopefully, the pet and the yoke will drop in the same one. I can. I can. I can hope, right? I can dream. What are you working on? Uh, an achievement called Traversing the Spheres. Uh, you've got to use Fareem's spare forge tap to grab a bunch, like to do these orbs, like in the daily quest. Um, but there's certain orbs in certain areas that will create blue quality items. Uh, like this one, Volatile Precursor. Um, oh. Oh, we're back. We might be back. Connecting to chat. Welcome to the chat room. We're back. Um, yes, what are you working on? So yes, it's an achievement. It's called Traversing the Spheres. Uh, and the Spheres Spare Forge tap, you can use it on those orbs. And some orbs in certain areas of the map will give you like a blue quality items. And the achievement has a list of them. So you've got to get all of those. But one of them... One of them, you got to get the ephemera threads and you get 15 of those and turn them into an orb and then you crack the orb open and sometimes it has a yoke. And that's the last item I need. <clears throat> mm. So um, that's what 
That's what I'm working on at the moment. And I'm trying- I'm in queue for Classic Ashran. Today was supposed to be a Classic Ashran stream. But it looks like the queues have screwed out again. I'm playing Jass? Alright, sounds good. <clears throat> First orb, what's the drop rate? I don't actually know what the drop rate is. I know the pet is roughly 1 in 20. Because there's a pet from the orbs as well. But yeah, I'm on 6 now. This will be my 7th once I actually make it. Thank you so much for the cheer. I found I had these left over. Must have purchased some years ago. I forgot I had them. Gonna dip. No worries. Thank you so much for the cheer. And I think Streamlabs has um, broken. Because my light's lit up. So that connection's working fine. But the uh, alert didn't. Your apologies. Um, you're doing compression jazz. Yeah, look. Not often. Occasionally, but not often. Mmm. Ali Neke. Fairy Martin Zaman. Ice. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Mmm. Thank you very much, Anonymous Gifter, for dropping a sub to Dwelling. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. This not working either? What is There we go. Alright, so I have our hydrate to do as well. Um Uh, it was, I think it was the internet. I'm not sure what it was, but like everything dropped out all at once. But not long enough to have to like restart the router or anything like that. So, mm. I was pretty sure that it was my router causing the issues before. Um, and now that I've got the new router, it should be fine. But I don't know. And uh, issues around the world. Yeah, look, it happens, it happens. And I mean, like, there is still a good chunk of Brisbane that's being repaired from the floods and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, who knows, maybe there's an issue somewhere with the fiber, but I don't know. I don't know. Gangster badge, indeed. Um, uh, key, I died for, oh no, Jas. Okay, I'm glad it wasn't just me. I know that sounds like a horrible thing to say, but like, it's good that it's not my PC. It's good that it's like a, yeah. Just understands. My shit, indeed. What does it? What does being subbed even do? I've never been subbed to someone before. So you got the badge, firstly, the the fancy badge. Um, you also get access to my emotes. You earn embers faster, slightly faster, not a ton, but slightly faster. Um, and I get paid. I get paid. Uh, it also, there are some streamers who do things like sub-only nights, like only subs can chat. Uh, they do sub-only streams where you can only watch the stream for longer than five minutes. If Like, you get a five-minute preview if you're not subbed. Um, but then if you want to keep watching, you have to subscribe. Um, with enough sub points, uh, streamers unlock more emote slots. Uh, I've got a lot of emote slots though, and we need a crap load more sub points to unlock another emote slot, but I don't need one because I've got like a lot of empty slots anyway, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, like there's there's a bunch of stuff that, it, there's a bit, bunch of things uh, that you get and as well as like the, the streamer themselves gets as well. Uh, there are also some streams where they'll offer additional stuff to subs. Uh, for example, if you have your Twitch account connected to your Discord account, for me, uh, now that you're subbed, you can get access to the sub-only chat channel in Discord, um, 
which is there, by the way. I think some of the subs uh, tend to forget that, but that's okay. Um, and then, yeah, like it's just kind of... Uh, but yeah, there, there are some streamers out there who will offer even more to their subs. Uh, it just depends on the kind of content that they do. We used to have, um, like I used to say that we'd have, uh, you know, if we're putting a group together, subs get priority. And we still do that, but it doesn't often come up. Um, often we can make a group large enough that everyone who wants to come can. Uh, but if it's not that case, then that I do tend to prioritize subs just because, you know, you've got to get something in return. Um, and we did also used to do, like, sub game nights. Um, but I no longer have time to do that. And towards the end of me having those, like, I ended up cancelling them because I just didn't have anyone turning up. Um, uh, and that was fine. It was just, you know, I was picking the wrong games or something like that, and that's totally okay. Or I had the wrong time or whatever, or back then I didn't have enough subs. Um, but whatever it was, it just, people seemed to lose interest, and so we stopped doing those. But, uh, yeah, it's, um, it really depends on the community you're a part of, what you actually get. But everyone will get, uh, you get a badge, you get emotes, and, uh, bonus embers. And channel points. Uh, battle plans. Yes. Yes, you may. Oh, I need to place a unit too. Um, uh, da, 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 bombers. Where are we? This one. This one. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> yes. All the pretty emotes. Just messing around. No, no, no need to apologize. Observation. Totally fine. Uh, totally fair. Uh, understanding of the training climate is that God rolls a d20 every six months, and on a 10 or lower, he rolls on the disaster table. Correct. Uh, you gain increased amount of channel points for embers. Yes. Nothing wrong. Just noticed automatically plan for the engineer to show up this afternoon instead of morning. So you didn't miss stream. Oh, nutty. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Me, resuming chat for the conversations, having to jump in. Amazing, your Twitch is link on the Battle.net page, and I go to load up. Wow, wow, pretty sick. I know it's amazing, isn't it? Um, it's been happening for just over a year now. Um, oh, like just before my fifth anniversary of streaming, um, I got like Blizzard ANZ followed me back on Twitter and DM'd me, being like, Hey, we like your content, want to be on the launcher? And I was like, What? Yes, uh, yes. And so yeah, it's been it's been a beautiful partnership. Like whenever we get, whenever we have like giveaways, I've had giveaways for um we had uh, Burning Crusade classic beta keys. We have had Hearthstone keys for like packs and stuff like that. We've had Mount keys for WoW. Um, we had uh like Shadowlands heroic edition keys a couple times as well. Like just um all these little bits and pieces that were like it's been so much fun. Like, really awesome uh, that they've been so bloody generous. So generous. And in return, I guess I sit here and play their game and uh, help out new players who ask questions and stuff. Like, yeah, I guess that's what... I'm not sure exactly what they get from it, but it's something, because otherwise they wouldn't still be doing it, so... <laughs> done with this orb? I think we're done with this orb. Yeah. Nine. Ah, uh, everybody click the link. Nah, yeah, we can't see it. it. So it comes through for you normally, uh, but for the rest of us, it comes through as three asterisks because I have link protection enabled. Maybe the disaster table to say bees. No, we're not. Actually, no, that'd be great. Can we have the disaster table say bees? Because the bees are endangered and we need to help increase their numbers. And a natural disaster where the bee population rises exponentially would actually be kind of good right now. Just for a little while. Did you from the launcher? Amazing. Yeah, we've had, like, over the past year, we have had so many new community members come in because of the launcher. And I, I like, I could not be happier. Because the vast majority of them have been really lovely. Uh, we've had the occasional person who's come in and been really abusive uh, because of it, but that's fine. We ban them. 
So yeah, no, it's it's been great. I'm uh, I'm so grateful, so grateful. These are unhappy. The rolls are one on the table. You just get fires and floods at the same time. Yeah, let's not have that. But it, it happened in different areas of the country as well, which would be like biggest problem. Computer just restarted itself. Amazing. Do you have like automatic updates turned on? 2020. Jaffs for making the bees unhappy. Yeah, we're gonna blame Jaffs for making the bees unhappy. Do you like my kappa, Zim? Are you happy? I'm on 14. I need one more. Yeah. Orb number seven. I got the pet. I'll take it. That means once I get this yoke, I never have to do this again. And I'm not upset about that. Crap, that's not what I meant to do. Oh no. Oops. Oops. Oh, there we go. Okay. I accidentally right clicked on outdoor zones to pop it into its own window, but when you pop something in ATT into its own window, it expands every category. It just had a really hard time doing that. Um, so what I wanted to do was left click it to get to here and then pop Zerith Mortise out by itself. Cool, so I'm 4708. Bad. I don't really want to do these orbs up here because there's too many Emonies. Um. Absolutely, just clicking stuff now to see what it does. Yes, love it. Enjoy. Um, timer. Um, there's probably you could probably make one of those yourself, or find one on uh, wago.io. W a g o dot i o. It's the thing that's actually like linked in. I think it's baked in there. Find auras. Uh, and you can just type in consecration, and I'm sure you'll find a million and one different weak auras for consecration. Uh, it's for sure not worth doing after you've gotten both in. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Well, what what would you do it for? I mean, apart from doing the daily, you do the daily, and that's it. Like, there's nothing else to gain from this. Why would you continue to do it if there's nothing to gain? I mean, maybe you just really like the noise or something. Um, Emonies, yeah. I sometimes mispronounce words intentionally. Um, or say the entirely wrong word in total. Uh, like, for example, uh, the instruction manual. I often call the destruction manual. Um, that's something I picked up from my mother. I'm sure she picked it up from somewhere else, but I got it from mum. Yeah. Or dad. I don't remember, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, but yes! It's an intentional misspeak. Perhaps cage keys. Yeah, I have, I've had two. I've got, an, I've got a second one. Like, key uh, number one. Orb one dropped one. And now 
orb and then orb three dropped one and now I've done seven orbs. Like But the Provost Cage Key didn't like what is supposed to be in it? I'm assuming that there's something special in it that I just ha didn't get. So that's rare, special treasure chest, architect's domination cache, forgotten, glinting, humming, grumpy. Oh, oh no, that's fine. Um, shifting, shifting, sparkling, ticking, requisites, originator, avian nest, mortal and supply cache. No, there's nothing in there. Like, there's nothing in it. At least according to ATT. Apart from the normal stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh... Mmm. <clears throat> okay, she's not worth... Yeah. Exactly. Anemones. I didn't see creatures again. Didn't seem special. No, it didn't. It just needed a key for some reason. Was it in the tre the treasures one? It's not even in this list of treasures. Like, why? Maybe they forgot to put something in there that was supposed to go in there. What's in the other caches? Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe if you do something special, it's meant to have something special in it or something. I don't know. Maybe I should do some wow heading before I uh, crack it open again. Four threads. Eleven to go. Guaranteed wax or something. Provost wax. I got the Provost wax from doing the ball the balls. I didn't get it from the cage. <laughs> it randomly dropped when I touched a ball. achievement. And I would really like my classic Ashram queue to pop, considering that is what we're supposed to be streaming today. But I've been in the queue for an hour and seven minutes again. It still says the average wait time is 14. Is my experience not dragging up the average by anything at all? Or am I banned? Am I shadow banned from Ashram? <laughs> Effect mounts. Yeah. lashes comes out of the nests rather than being dropped from something. That's interesting. I don't know, there's no joke there. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, good to see. Congratulations. We did to 
that, yes. Turned it into a shiny pretty. Much to Jass's disgust. Seven threads. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm here, I should turn that thing into three. I equipped my, my lightsaber and I made it glowy. It's so pretty! So shiny. I'm so close to understanding. So, oh, hello. Okay. Uh, so, the, the helmet domination. Brilliant. Perfect. I'm amazed that Dark Legacy is still running. Like, holy cow. That's gotta be one of the longest running webcomics at this point. <clears throat> Watching it three patches later, yep. Yeah. System back. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's the only one that's been running a long time, just saying that, like, you know, I remember stumbling across it back when I first started playing, like, in BC. So, yeah, it's, it's been going for a long while. Not to say there aren't others that also are, but. Or one of, yeah, at, at least one of, like, yeah. It's very cool. I still remember the, um, like, one of my favourite ones was the comic where Blizzard had finally been able to perfectly balance all of the classes. Perfectly. And so they released a like a damage made like a damage meter comparison of all the specs then they were all lined up with just a block of stripes because they were all perfectly aligned um and because there was no way like because there wasn't like a top to bottom they sorted it alphabetically and so the little gnome dude was like and then the next panel was a forum post asking for warriors to be rena renamed to uh uh ah oh shit i've forgotten what they were called but it started with a so they'd go to the top of the meters of everyone being fucking identical. And it, it be, I loved it because firstly, it's true. Um, but players will find a way to complain about everything. Anything and everything. There is no way to win as a developer. There will always be people who are unhappy. And uh, I just thought it was so beautifully done. It was so succinct and just, it was perfectly delivered. It was fantastic. Wipes on the final boss of streets on an eight. Oh no, it's the boss. Yep, 
Judgment Stick, you see. Seen in the wild, there you go. I've not heard of it, but obviously, obviously it's a thing. Ah, uh, three bloody circles are take too long, and the port swap around halfway through, yeah. Angry boys. I mean, it was an eight. <clears throat> Shiro Warrior doing half my damage. Oof. Rough. Engulfer event, actually. Does the engulfer drop something? Let's see. It does. Sword. And a belt. I should probably tap that. <clears throat> Might as well give it a shot. Picturing your half of the tank's damage. The way to win is to not play. String from third impacts of eight to ten. Oh dear. sudden two disconnects in a night? That's not right. Something's... I know the stream is back, but I don't think chat's back yet, so give me a minute. Doesn't seem like there's anything going on with the ISP. Um, <clears throat> I didn't go to crush the modem. I um went. I walked along the line to see if maybe like there was like a cable pinched somewhere or I, like I don't know how it works. Obviously, a bit, like a pinch, a little pinch ain't gonna do anything. But if it's a big enough pinch that it's cut through the plastic and maybe it's sort of, you know, affecting, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> 
So I just <laughs> did a walk along the line just to visually inspect it and then checked that it was connect like actually in the NBN box properly and all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, just standard tech stuff. Um, I did not unplug it and plug it back in. I just kind of pushed it a bit. Uh, but yeah, just I just wanted to make sure nothing obvious was wrong, you know, because this is the first time I've had any issues with this new modem, router, new router, and it's really, really odd that I was having con like disconnects a couple times a day, replace the router, clean for months, and then a double disconnect in a single night. That is unusual. Like, that's really strange. Unless I've managed to magically get this router from dad as it's hit its dead, like as it's hit its end of life, um, which that'd be great luck. But it, you know, if it, excuse me, if that's the case, then then that's fine. Um, and I will, I will figure it out. But it's just kind of, yeah, this is my livelihood. This, this is my livelihood. I can't afford to have this kind of dodgy ass stuff going on, especially if I want to get into doing, you know, bigger sponsor streams and, and getting sponsorships like like you know I need to I need to be reliable I need to be reliable they need to be able to rely upon me um and if they jump in and see one day's stream is cut into four chunks because it disconnects well you know what are they investing in <clears throat> so yeah it's it's a thing um Right, so I've got what my trinket half the tank's damage. Uh, uh, F2, F2, press F2 to continue. I'm gonna stop playing WoW. Okay, we're in here and see you. Sorry, caps, no worries. Uh, if you angrily went to crush the modem in the last two months, it sucks. I'm trying to simplify you out a lot of classes, doing a lot of things. One bucket, uh, Vegas. Uh, Pokemon. I know that I want is not choose to choose to do Thank you for Ashran. I am! I am. One hour and 21 minutes. Uh, yeah, part of the ISP checking for issues is also checking NBN. Because technically, my internet is the service that is my internet is provided by two providers the people I actually pay and NBN. So whenever I check one, I always check both. Because this is my job. I have to make sure that I know what's going on with my connection. Always check both. And that goes for everyone else out there as well. Like, make sure you do check both if you're having issues. But doubly so if it's your job, if it's your livelihood that's at stake. Like, check all the things. <laughs> I'm sure you don't need to be told that because I'm sure you, like me, understand that if your livelihood, you know, anyway. Ah, uh, wonderful. Let's move on. Uh, mercenary queue for brawls, maybe 14 minute queue time is average between factions. I. Potentially, however, the reason I want to do Classic Ashran particularly is because of the Nemesis quests. If I'm playing in mercenary mode as an alliance, I can't kill Draenei, which means I'll get no progress on my quest. Uh, Zam, Fade, V, Alad, uh, Apro, Zem, Koala, Mart, and Fairy, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. <clears throat> need to place a warrior. One singular warrior. Also a Templar though. The warrior expires tonight, so should do that. So, uh, I mean, I'm totally content doing this, but I just, I feel really bad considering that I said today was going to be a PvP, queue, uh, PvP stream and the queue is telling me no, you know, like it's, I, I very specifically wanted to do classic Ashran and I've been sitting in queue for three hours. Like, I don't know if something's just going wrong or whatever. Maybe there's one 
group that's going solidly and no one's leaving because it's a... Oh, they can't do pre-mades. But you know what I mean? Like, maybe there's one group in there that's just going solidly. And, uh... Not enough people in queue for the algorithm to form up a second one or, or something. I, I, I don't know. But it's, um... Really quite upsetting. Or maybe there just aren't enough people in queue at all. Because there's new content... And, and all that kind of stuff, and the average wait time, which is 14 minutes, that hasn't changed since the start of stream. When I joined the queue in the at the very start of stream, it said average 14. So maybe no one has joined, no one has gotten into a match since then, because there isn't one running, because there aren't enough people trying to do it, because they're all raiding or in ZM or running Mythic Clubs. Like, possible. Annoying, but possible. But the fact that this happened last time as well just ugh, makes me unhappy. That's alright, we've got comp stomp coming in April. Might not get my nemesis kills in, uh, but I'll absolutely do some leveling. Any battle plans? You can. You can. Got nine threads. Infectious is up today. <clears throat> oh, someone ran down there and just keep running. Good. I'm about to do. I'm on ten. The issue might be that there's too many horde and no alliance. Like, yeah, we unfortunately can't see the data, uh, except for the average wait time, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, oh, he actually got pulled. One thing I do really like is that the rare, the, the transmog, not transmog, but the items that drop from the rares share appearances with each other, except the swords. Um, but like, I got shoulders to drop and half the rares got wiped off my list, like off the screen in handy notes, because the only thing they dropped was these shoulders that I now have. Um, so, ooh, nice. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a good feeling. Um, in terms of collection stuff, when you get something to drop and it looks like you've collected a lot more than just the one piece, which is really nice. Been 20 minutes since two minutes away. Oh, the morning appointments, they go. Fantastic. <clears throat> I hope it gets fixed up for you, Nutty, because I know you've been struggling along with that for a while. <clears throat> now I'm wondering, so let's say, let's say I do have an issue with my connection. Home and and you know home internet. I mean, although you know it's it's kind of important and you want it, but dropouts here and there for home internet is it's not that big a deal, right? It's not it's not a super high priority uh, for for an ISP, especially if they do also cater to businesses. I don't think my ISP does business stuff, but I wonder, like, because I have an ABN, I wonder if I could get firstly a discount. <clears throat> by doing a 
business plan as opposed to a home internet plan. Um, or if it'd be more expensive because they think more people are using it. Or that because I'm a business I can afford more. Keck. Um, but then, on the other hand, I wonder if I'd get, like, priority assistance if I had it registered with my ABN attached. <laughs> you know, if you can get the benefits, you gotta, you gotta do the thing, right? I'm interested now. I'm kind of curious. Do I like corn? I mean, I have dinner. <laughs> this is a tasty vegetable. I do feel like I'm walking. I'm, I feel like you're trying to troll me, though. So, um. How you going, Priesty? Uh, is your nod based in area of court? No. No. Um, I, I think they're intelligent enough not to do that. I mean, the power stuff kind of a little bit was, but, um, no. But I feel like if there was an- because I- because I have fiber, it wouldn't be dropping in and out too much. Like, I- I feel like if it's a node thing, it'd just be off. Like, it just wouldn't work, rather than being really spotty or anything. I don't know, it's, uh... But no, that's- these are the first two disconnects I've had in- in quite a while since getting the new router from Dad. So, like, I'm, yeah, I just, I just don't know. I'm a little kind of concerned. A little concerned. Um. Yep. You'll follow for that. <laughs> for have it for eating food. Good. Eat your vegetables get follows on Twitch. Done. I can happily do that. <laughs> I hope you're having a good night, Priestie. Uh, previously was a reseller of business against your ISPs. You do get better assistance slash service for issues, but they aren't necessarily cheaper than your personal accounts. Yeah, of course. Of course. And I mean, obviously, like, if you're going to get priority assistance and stuff like that, usually you pay for that service. And so it might even bump the price up. I don't know. Um, I'll have to do... Oh, 15. Okay, I'll have to do some research. <clears throat> oh, fuck. That's seven. No, that was eight. Damn it. Anima infused. Anima charged yolk. <laughs> I should actually check what the drop rate is. I'm curious now. <laughs> Uh, business accounts, you're paying for SLA and uptime. Okay. Noted. I'm patient. in California? Oh, fantastic! I've never been to any of America. Um, I am Australian. Uh, and going to America is very expensive. Also, the whole, you know, current situation. Uh, although I am old, so that hasn't affected most of my life, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I hope you enjoy yourself. I've heard that Yosemite is absolutely gorgeous. Um... But, uh, yeah, don't have any experience myself. The yolk from your last year of Fred Materials from the Spheres, who knows? Yeah, look. If you're not doing the yolk, then yes, you will, you will absolutely beat me to it, because the other ones drop super easily. Like, super easily. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Uh, right, what am I doing? It was ephemera orb, wasn't it? Ephemera <clears throat> orb. Uh, I'd love to go to Australia, I can't do flights over six hours, lose my mind. Fair. Maybe I can swim halfway. Uh, from... Most of what I've heard, if you try to swim, you might get sent to a different country. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry, that was a, a reference to our terrible asylum seeker policy. Um, but boats, I'm sure that there's probably cruise ships that stop off in Australia. 
Uh, however, you can also, like, if you don't mind, if you can't do flights over six hours, but you don't mind, like, stopping along the way in a bunch of places, um, there are plenty of places that we fly to that take quite a lot shorter than, than six hours. Uh, so if you can find a route that kind of hops, or if you talk to a travel agent, they might be able to find you a route to get to Australia with no flights longer than six hours. You might have one that's like five hours and 45 minutes, um, but yeah, you, you might actually be able to find a way here. Because we do have a lot of countries that are close to us, um, but not like, but still like flyable, if that makes sense. And maybe killed that. Fair. That does definitely limit your travel, uh... Oh, well, not really if you're in the US. You guys have a lot of places you can drive to. <laughs> um, I keep, like... It is it is kind of unusual thinking about um, people who can just drive to a different country. Because we can't do that. Like, it, the only time we can drive over water is to go to Tasmania, but we're still in Australia. It's just a different state, not a different country. So it's it's really odd thinking about just hopping in a car and driving internationally, you know? Um, <laughs> uh, especially, like, to, thinking about Europe, where people can hop on a train for half an hour and cross through three goddamn countries. It's so strange. Uh, but it's, it's also really cool at the same time. Uh, so really <laughs> graphic, fair enough. Um, yeah, definitely, like, I, what I would do is probably look at um, travel agents who can, because you might not be able to get a, a flight that goes boing, 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 all, like, all across the world to, to get to Australia um, through, like, one, uh, what's it? Airline? you might have to stitch together a couple of routes, uh, but that's where travel agents come in really bloody handy. Uh, especially if like your first flight gets delayed, which means that your entire booked trip is all kaflucked. Um, if you have a travel agent and you call them or they're monitoring the flights and they notice it's been delayed and that they have a client on that flight, while you're on that delayed flight, they'll be calling all of your other airlines along the way to shuffle your flights along so that you don't have to worry about anything. Like you definitely get what you pay for when you're doing complicated trips with a with a, a, a travel agent. I like if I'm going down, you know, crossing two state lines to see my family, and I'm you know flying down to Melbourne. I don't like it's a it's one like boink and then you go boink back and that's it. Uh, so I don't tend to use a travel agent for that. But if I was going overseas with a whole bunch of like add-ons and all that kind of stuff and had to connect a few different flights and I would absolutely use a travel agent because it just gives you that peace of mind that you don't need to worry about what if something goes wrong. You just call them and go, help! And they go, yep, let, like, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. And then they just do their stuff, which is great. Uh, yes, definitely get what you pay for. I uh, literally walk into another country. I know that just, that's trippy as all hell. That's trippy as all hell. If you had a TwitchCon in the coming years, it would cost honestly like half as much as my dental work. Seriously. Between flights and then accommodation and food and then obviously spending money and going and seeing all the sites and stuff, it'd end up costing about ten grand for just me. And I'm not doing it alone because not because like I'm afraid of traveling alone or anything like that it's just that those kind of experiences I'd want to share with somebody uh, so I would be dragging Jas along uh, and although we'd do stuff like share a hotel room or whatever totally fine um, I can't share an, an airline seat <laughs> like so it would it wouldn't quite double the cost um, but it would certainly get a bit close so yeah it's uh that would be a very large expense. Very large expense. Uh, I don't know if you can travel by slingshot and parachute. I mean, you can try, but you wouldn't want to be the first because you've got to get someone to get the aiming right. They need to test the landing zone, make sure you get in the right place. You don't want to end up halfway in the ocean. Like, that's. You don't want that. Let's try to run and use it in the US. Remind myself driving four hours next town over to him, not the other end of the UK. Yep. Oh wow. Goblin glider? That would probably be a lot safer. 
It's in San Diego is my host. I could see Mexico like right there on the highway. I've never experienced that before. Yeah, I can imagine. Ah, uh, cousin. I have to do food shop weekly. Is yeah, that? That is super odd. I would imagine that if you're um, if you're living on a border like that, then they give you like you have some kind of pass in your passport or you have a card that allows you to e quickly and easily travel across the border rather than having to get your bloody passport stamped every time, like with border communities and stuff. I don't know. But I can't imagine having to carry your bloody passport to go and do groceries, like far out. <clears throat> My coding method of transport is really close to the border. So the PVQ, I am indeed. What am I now? One hour 40 in this one. The last one was an hour and 44. Uh, so, because I then left that queue because I thought it was bugged, but clearly it's not bugged, it's just... Well, I mean, look, it could be bugged, and it's just still bugged. But yeah, that's what, three hours, three and a half hours now? I've been in queue? No. Yes. Yes, math is hard. Shush. <clears throat> Have you played Elden Ring? No. Uh, not really my kind of game, honestly. Uh, I'm really super glad that so many people are having such a great time playing it. It's so good to see. Uh, I was watching Galaxy Oz play it a bit. Um, was it Wednesday when we raided her? It was! It was, two days ago. And, oh my god, it was hilarious to watch. Her horse had lots and lots of arrows in its butt. Um, <laughs> uh, it was great to watch, but yeah, not, not really my kind of game, I don't think. I don't know, just... Yeah, I've, I've got enough on my plate at the moment, I think. But that's okay. Happy it's there for others. We'll have a thing. Exactly. Exactly right. And I love that there are so many games out. I love that there are so many of them that I don't like. Because it means that, like, it's just it's the variety of the world, right? People are, are so incredibly different and everyone has what they like. And if we all liked the same thing, there'd only be one game. The fact that there are multitudes of different games means that I can ex discover something that might have something I'm interested in, but then it introduces me to other parts of the game that I turn out to really bloody love, which introduces me to a whole new genre and stuff. Like, it's great. I love that. Absolutely love that. It's also super cool to see people, like, getting all hyped up and excited about something. Ugh. Nothing better than watching someone talk about what they're passionate about. Oh wait, that's probably why you're on Twitch, right? <laughs> like... Uh... It's like when Jas starts talking to, me, talking to me about DK changes, I'm like, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, but you're excited, keep talking. Like... <laughs> Great. And he tries to explain it to me, and I'm like, it's not gonna work. Just just tell me, it's fine. Oh, I've got 15. I didn't notice. I was too busy talking. Switch water culture. Ah! Fanta! I'm so glad you loved it. I haven't played it again since because I'm still trying to decide whether or not I want to stream it. Or if I just want to play it. Because you guys really liked me reading out the like reading the stories and stuff. I don't know. Mmm. It was around a 15 minute drive. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, so it changes regularly. Mm. God damn it. It's nine. Alright, what is the drop rate? Eight <clears throat> percent. It's an eight percent drop chance. So it's at roughly one in twelve and a half ish. <clears throat> blah, 
Clubbers DPS and Frost's tank. Yeah, before they had, um... So... Once upon a time, we didn't have these labels for what each of the... It, it was just a spec. It didn't tell you that this spec is for healing and this spec is for damage and this spec is for tanking. It was just you took a spec and you you chose talents in that spec to um to fit what you what role you wanted to fill. Um and yeah, the frost ones were very tanky. Blood ones were very DPS. We're back in Wrath, yeah. Back when they were first introduced. The Wrath of the Lich King was when we got DKs. Pretty sure it was. First hero class. It was. But yeah, it had to have been. There's no other expansion that it makes sense to introduce them in. I'm just, I don't know why I'm doubting myself. It just feels weird to say. I remember how long it took in classic people to figure out how to decent DPS with Fury Warrior, so being like mid Blackwing Lair, it became a thing. Oh, if their DK was so OP, they could all tank to Zendri. They could. They was. They were like. They took the word hero and uh, kind of blew it out of the water. DKs were overpowered in every sense of the word. Convince half the difficulty of our pre was people having completely wrong time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe that's why they took away our trees. Maybe that's why they gave us, like, the rose and stuff they have now. Mm-hmm. And they started at 48. Whatever it was. It's this. seen a pop-up on a website for three like oh okay not quite three decades but you know like Ali thank you so much what well, turns out the pop-up was Steam saying you've received a gift because then my phone buzzed and I got an email from Steam and I'm like excuse me Ali thank you so much for gifting me Agent A a puzzle in disguise I'm really excited now mmm Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, maybe even enough to stream it with an achievement hunt. I'm gonna have to have a look and see. Thank you so much. Agent A, a puzzle in disguise. Where is... How long to beat? I must have deleted the... Howlongtobeat.com Fantastic game. Especially if you're a goddamn content creator, let me tell you. Um... Agent A. Puzzle in disguise. Main story, four hours. Main plus extra, four and a half hours. Completionist, five hours. So it'll probably take me two streams. Because <laughs> <sighs> of how much I get distracted by chat. Um, thank you so much. But yeah, how long to beat? It's literally howlongtobeat.com. Um, it basically, like, people can submit their, their scores, their, their, their run time, how long it took them to run it, uh, what they were, like, were they doing just the storyline, were they doing side quests, did they go through and get every achievement, all that kind of stuff. So it can give you an estimate of how long it'll take you to play a game. Because then if you look at how long it took you to play some games, and you see it took you a bit longer, then you can kind of assume that other games will take you a bit longer and stuff as well. Like, it's just, it's really, really useful, especially when you're trying to plan out content. If I, if I need to find a game, but I've only got one stream, because I've got other stuff planned everywhere else, I've got one stream, I can look for a game that takes me four to five hours, and I know it should be able, should be able to be knocked out in a stream, but sometimes I go as low as three hours because I know how distracted I get. There you go. Hot tip. Hot tip. Um... Absolutely worse, only 20 old one. Monkey ladies in wrath. 
I remember when BG like 90% was DKs as the trees most specs. It was very cookie cutter. Yeah, absolutely. They were. But there's always going to be a section of the community who doesn't read, for example, Wowhead and doesn't know what the cookie cutter specs are, you know? Like that's a... Well, they might want to experiment with something different and see how it works. <clears throat> Puzzles, yay. Have you finished Strange Order Culture yet? No, I haven't touched it since we played it on stream. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to play it on stream or if I wanted to um, knock it out off stream, you know? Because I'm like, I really want to play through it and it seems like a really chill game. Um, but at the same time, you guys were talking about how much you enjoyed hearing me read through all the bits and pieces aloud. So, do you know what I mean? I like, mm. Mm. If you're a content creator, take average time and double it. Yeah, well, depending on your particular type of content, some may need to triple it. <laughs> like there are there are streamers that I have watched before who like uh, if a hype train starts, that's it. Gameplay over. They 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 the whole hype train. They're just sitting there hyping it up and all that like nothing. A full camera thing. You know uh, what's it flashing and bouncing all over the screen, all that kind of stuff. And they don't get back to gameplay until the hype train is finished. Um, some people have like a two minute celebration every time there's a new sub. Like it it really depends on your kind of entertainment. Um, but I am a hell of a lot more chill here. Like I. <laughs> And sometimes I feel like that's probably working against me. Like, if I was super hype and stuff like that, then who knows? Maybe I'd be raking it in. But I I just... I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to put that much energy out every time. So I just... I don't know. I feel like I'd disappoint people if I did it for one person and then three days later when I'm, like, dead tired and I don't have a whole goddamn party for them, then they're going to be upset and not come back. And rightfully so. Because they're going to feel less valued. Do you know? Like, it's it's hard. Content creation is hard. No, it doesn't look that hard. But I promise you it actually is. More for Elden Ring because chat will force you to sell one tree sentinel. I don't know what that means. Um, dog is asleep. Oh, asleep walking. Aww. Papa is dreaming. So cookie cutter was a point of having big trees. I only really had one right choice. Correct. Correct. Uh, speed runs less. Possibly. Um, I'm not sure. This doesn't tend to have speed run. I mean, I think some of them might do. Oh, they have. Okay, so they have rushed and leisure. So um, main story average is four hours and 17 minutes. The median is four hours and seven. Rushed, it's three hours and six minutes. Leisure, it's five hours and 36 minutes. So as a, an on completionist at a leisurely pace, it's seven hours and 29 minutes average. So, yes. Does that make sense? Um, and you can also, if you join, if you join, like if you create an account on the website and um, import your Steam library, you can you can sort it by playtime and just scroll through to games that are around the, however, whatever, like markets, really, really useful. I'm honest, honest to God, anyone who streams any sort of variety, and has a decently sized Steam library, I highly, highly, highly recommend um, jumping in and uh, making use. Especially like if you're if you're the kind of person who is a, a variety streamer, uh, and you've seen the way that I schedule a month in advance, and you're like, God, I wish I could do that. I just I don't know how long I don't know how many streams it's gonna take me to finish a game and then I can't announce what game I'm playing next and nah fuck that. Go and go and check your how long to beat. And then give yourself a buffer of like a stream. Give yourself an extra stream and then like yeah, yeah, you're good. If you want it, you can do it. Um, sore nose. Um, this she can against Vex, Lisa Hunter. Burnout for that type of stream is real, especially if the streamer is just putting it on. So, let's see. So, sleep farts? Of course she does. Of course she does. Um, yeah, my bags have been this messy since the start of stream, honestly. Um, and it, it's honestly okay because, like, I because I'm not getting much loot. Everything is just kind of stacking on top of it, each other if I am getting stuff to drop, so I'm not too bothered by it. 
Um, but I will absolutely clean them out once I get this bloody yolk. Uh, Zam, Neke, V, Ice, Knight, and Koala. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Another one. Um, the game's coming out that you're excited for. I've had an eye on Ash's creation, Core Punk, and Banny Brawl. I, I was following Ash's back when it first got, and well, not, not really first got announced, but when I first sort of discovered it, I think it was like my second PAX, which was like 2018 and it's just it's taken so like I, mm, mm -mm. I just I just can't do it um I look I'll pr I might look into it again when they actually release it but it just the game looks completely different from what they first announced it was going to be because of, that's what happens when you're in development for four years. And I understand that games take that long to develop. I get it. I t especially big ass MMOs with as, um, uh, not adventurous. But let's, let's try adventurous. Uh, adventurous, uh, plans as they did for what the game can do. And so I get that it takes that long to, to program and build and, and all that kind of stuff. But like, fuck, is it going to be in development for 20 years before it actually comes out with all these people with their money and it, it just doesn't feel right to me. I don't like, uh, I'm not a huge fan of early access stuff. Um, I've been burned so many times before. Um, like game, like uh, developers reaching out and being like, here's a key for our game. Please stream it. We're in early access and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, we're cause obviously, you know, they're looking for exposure. So they give you a game, a free game in return for the exposure. Um, like, and there's, there's been a game that I've asked them, oh, how much playtime am I going to get out of this? And they've said, oh, it's, you know, about four hours worth of game playtime. And then 20 minutes in, there's a game breaking bug that I cannot find a way around. And so then my entire plan for that stream is fucked. And I need to think on the fly to try it just, and it's happened so many times. Um, so that has soured my, my feelings around early access in general. It's also here, pay me to QA my game for me. No, hire QA. Um, so it, yeah, it's, it's a whole, I have feelings. Uh, but yeah, Ashes, I, I was following it and then I just, it just, it was just taking too long. I got bored. Um, and it, it has changed like a lot. Um, in the beginning, it looked a whole lot like, you know, the, the world would change and you could build things up and work together as teams and blah, blah, blah. And the more and more and more and more that it just kind of went on and on, it started just looking like, this is a giant open world MMO PVP simulator. And I'm like, no, I, I don't usually PVP. <laughs> this is the first time I've attempted to PVP in literally months. Uh, and the queue is broken. Clearly, they don't want me to PVP. So it doesn't look like it's going to end up being my kind of game, uh, but... Like, it's a phoenix. <laughs> like, it's literally, like, so phoenix is a kind of, like, it's, it's my, it's my thing. It's my logo, obviously. Um, but it's kind of, like, I fucking love the phoenix. Um, in so many ways. And so I was drawn to it because of the logo. But then it just, yeah, it just, it just got too much. So, um, sorry for that massively long rant. Uh, I have nothing, I have nothing against them. It just, like, all these different little factors going into me just losing all interest in it entirely. Uh, at least for now. Um. Uh, but. Um, Pokemon. Uh, Scarlet and Violet. Because I'm a sucker for collecting stuff. And I'm pretty sure that started with Pokemon when I was, like, eight. Um, so, <laughs> so that's, a uh, that's, a ah, oh, Octopus! Thank you so much for the sub! Welcome to the Fear Nutty. I hope you're having a fantastic night. Um, but yeah, it just, um, not really. I don't tend to follow new releases, like, super keenly. 
I never really have. I don't know, it just it feels like a lot of effort and a lot of Yeah. So I find out I, I find out about things when all my streamer friends are like, oh my god, I'm so excited for this game, and I'm like, oh cool, so that exists. Um <laughs> But yeah, beyond that, I mean, like I play enough wow. And I'm I'm good with that. And it also means and I, I have a, a subscription to Humble I think it's Humble Choice still. I think that's what they call it now. Um, and so I get, occasionally I get some really funky games through that system as well. And, uh, yeah. I don't have much time for more games on top of that. And it keeps it cheap too. I don't have to buy a new AAA game every three weeks to, to stream it, because that gets expensive, yo. Uh, yeah. I'm, I know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit odd when it comes to, like, the stereotypical gamer, I don't really fit description. I'm alright with that. I have fun regardless. Um. Mm, Sunday is feel bad. Stay a while and listen. True. It it does end up being that, doesn't it? Well, Friday you get a bonus fill bags with shit day. I hope you're okay with that. And me with the same strat, yes. Ah, uh, back and shit everything, clean up his bags, rude. Unless it's Jas and his bags are full of other spec stuff. Oh, I don't think he really does that much anymore. Except maybe on his monk. But not so much with his DK. Ah, oh, battle plans, yeah, of course. Sorry. I still haven't placed my unit either. Um. God, I get so distracted talky, 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 talky. That, um, all sorts of stuff. Oh dear. I'm also, um, my brain's really not working today. I was, I was really unwell yesterday. Uh, I know, like, I, I know I'm usually unwell because, you know, autoimmune and all that kind of stuff, but I had a, a pretty bad health day yesterday. Um, and so, yeah, it's been, it's been a bit rough and I've been trying to you know, get back to at least some semblance of normal. Considering that if I'm too unwell, I don't know how it'll affect surgery on Monday. Um, so yeah, look, it's it's a whole time. It's a whole time. Oh wow, four years into development and they're switching engines. That's a um, <laughs> shit. Um, that's honestly a not really not good sign to me. Um, but, I mean, again, like, no judgment to anyone else who's excited or who's looking forward to it or whatever, absolutely not, but that, um, that really concerns me. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter to them because they don't really have many actual, like, investor investors from, like, the industry. All their investors are players. Because they did all the pre-sale bundles and all that kind of stuff, so you get access, you know, buy, give me money before the game is ready so that you can QA my game for me. For literally years, um, but yeah, it, it, they can they can take their sweet ass time up until players start getting angry and asking for refunds. But then they'll say we're not going to refund you because you've gotten the alpha access that we promised you, you've gotten what you've paid for, except for a completed game, uh, sans bugs. Uh, so will never get their money back and so they'll just keep chuggling along and could literally take two decades before they could never release a game it could just be eternally in early access which just an excuse for a shitty game honestly oh yeah it's because we're still developing it yeah but they did that back in the 90s as well they released a game and they continued continued to develop it and they released patches. Fairly certain my dad had a fucking floppy disk with a patch label on it for something that he was doing. Like. Anyway. I'm opinionated. That's why half of you are here. Uh, QCC average time is 3 minutes, I'm 15, why is it lighting me like that? I'm sorry, 14 minutes, 
two hours and four minutes. Who in memories are launching with video style gameplay, grindy PvE stuff to some point main game? Well, a node based PvP. I mean, if it's successful, if people like it and are willing to micro spend, then why wouldn't they keep making games like that? That's the thing, right? It's, it's all about the money. If they can make the cash doing it, why the hell not? Uh, Pokemans, indeed. How are you going, Octobus? I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, Elden Ring's my must collect everything game at the moment. Pokemon, did you know the first edition holographic Charizard I've grown for 10 grand? Look, I didn't know that, but that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> like, it, it doesn't. I remember being a kid and uh, there was, like, we had a fan, like, my mum had a friend who had a son who was around our age. We, like, we weren't really friends with the son, but we'd, like, play with him when mum wanted to see her. And she was the one, she, she bought her son some Pokemon cards because people at school were doing it. And so, you know, he wanted some and so she did. He lost interest in them within within a week or two. But she got really into it and she had a holographic Charizard in like two plates of acrylic or plexiglass or whatever that are screwed together. Like there was a there was a an empty space in her. You know you remember the binders that we had with all the, the like the nine cards per plastic sheet and it was double sided. You could slot your cards in. Um so she there was a space where Charizard would have gone and she had it in this literally a block, two pieces of, of whatever, it was either acrylic or glasses, I don't know, but two, they were a centimeter thick each, put together with the card in the middle and screwed shut. Like, yes, it does not surprise me that they're going for 10 grand, especially in like good condition. They were so, and they're out of print now, aren't they? They don't print the originals anymore. So whatever's out there, that's it. Like no, no more. Got what you got. You made 15k. Well done. Well done. Uh, is it, I mean, that's all. It seems a bit different. Can't play more than one game at a time. Totally fair. Understandable. Especially when it's a game that involves like a whole lot of focus and, and like it's a time sink as well. Not necessarily as a bad thing. Like sinking your time into something that you find valuable is a great idea. But things take time, therefore they are time sinks. <laughs> um, Souls 2. Oh, the kids have some fun in Minecraft dungeons tonight. It's such different playstyles. Uh, Seven loves getting out there doing quest exploring. Fresh Outlines doesn't like to stay at camp walking around the tops of the merchants trying on different gear. Seven is collected. That's super cute. That's really adorable. Uh, interesting. talking about Star Citizen. I, I don't, I, wait, I think I've heard of Star Citizen people spending literally $20,000 on ships and stuff and the game was still in early access. I'm like why, what is the, what is the drive to get it out of EA when they're making fucking mint? Um, but I, I've never played it myself. Uh, I think I, I think I knew someone who played it maybe, I don't remember. Um, oh well. Um, back to WoW, it's just in bad state. I'm hoping Tenno has more fun stuff like player housing and systems of forces to play all the time. I mean, that is kind of like, it's... Don't hold your breath on player housing, firstly. Um, uh, we were talking about this the other day in Krazzy's stream about how, you know, the, the art team and stuff wouldn't have a whole lot of work to do because all the doodads, like the chairs and the, the walls and the dungeons and all that kind of stuff, they're all, they're already done, they're designed. But the actual coding that would be required, like it, it, I feel like if it was going to be easy for them to do, they would have done it by now, considering that people have been asking for it since literally Burning Crusade, literally. Um, so I wouldn't hold your breath on it, personally. Uh, you know, never say never. I'd be happy to be wrong, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I just don't think it, like, eh. And also fitting into the storyline and stuff, like, why do you have, like, the garrisons, for example. People claim that the garrisons was, like, an attempt at player housing or whatever, but the garrisons had a law purpose to be there, like, a story reason to be in the game. They would need to find a reason for player housing to be there, rather than just, oh, and by the way, you bought a house. You know, 
it, 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 I feel like it, it would need a story reason to be there, which could be a little bit tricky, but look, hey, never say never, but just don't hold your breath. Um, honestly, I don't think the game is in that bad a place. Uh, it really depends on what it is about the game that you enjoy, though. Um, so that, you know, obviously that's just my, my viewpoint. Um, I never run out of things to do. In fact, they often introduce things faster than I can do them. Um, but I'm also a player who pretty much likes everything except for PvP. As you can tell by this infographic, I have not created it all by myself. Um, thank you to Blizzard for illustrating this very, very easily for me. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy all aspects of the game. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. Uh, I do feel like a lot of the um, complaining has come from a handful of really, really big creators who have picked one thing, blown it up as this, I hate this, it's terrible, it's ruined the game, and then everyone has kind of taken that and repeated it verbatim to the point that no one actually recognises where it's come from, and that regardless of whether they actually feel that way or not, it's, yeah. Um, there's a lot of stuff people are complaining about that genuinely is nowhere near as bad as they say it is. Just, like, factually. Um, but that's, you know, coming from a long-term player perspective. I've been playing for 15 years and I took a six-month break and an eight-month break. Uh, and that's it. Um, there are times that I play once a week and there are times that I play every day. Uh, but I've never taken, like, an extended break apart from those two in the whole 15 years, so obviously my opinion's gonna be a little bit different from someone who only raids, uh, and only comes back at the top of a patch to gear up, raid, and then leaves again, um, compared to me who, you know, once I've done what I want to do, I find other things that I want to do. <laughs> um, so this game is no great to graphics, we're a bit out style. Charizard Sag. It has the one I buy one so bad. I think Hasbro is good. It's such a blast from the past. 9 2 is great in that regard. You have minimal rep grinding gearing, plenty of catch up. There's not much you need to play to do content at the moment. Yep, correct. Uh, there is some misconception about the cards though. Most people love point sell. People that love it mostly have collections can play greater cards. Sell. So, all of the emotes. How did you play housing? It's more that would with the game game from it. Um, so do you work for Blizzard and do you know all of their spaghetti code that's been being put together over the 17 years? Because us saying it's not that hard, we don't know. We cannot possibly know that. Like, we just literally can't. They could try to insert a piece of code somewhere so that someone could make a house in the Barrens and fucking break all sorts of shit. Like, it, we, ju we literally don't know how it works. We, we don't. <laughs> there is no possible way for us to do so unless we work at Blizzard in coding. Like, it, we, we just don't know. Um, sorry, it's it's kind of a, like, I'm hearing people say, oh, it's not that hard. It's like, well, you, you don't know that. You, you can't know that. Um, so it's complete. Well done, Apathy. Hey, okay, thank you so much for the book, can I say. I know I posted it on Twitter and stuff, but thank you so much for the book. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So thank you. Ah, uh, really business because man collecting faster Xbox. Nice. And all else fails, one can aim for on a level 500 to buy one specific pet. Yeah, complete the collection. Get every pet on a 500. Um, <laughs> fear becomes PvP stream permanently. Uh, that would be great fun. Kidding. Really. But Comstomp will help us get there. I'm only on a level 22. Look, I'm part of the way there. I'm getting there. Three more of these things. Uh, okay, my I'm super excited. Yes! Uh, Laurie's gonna get a house. Thrall sold me his house and moved back to Okuma. <laughs> so all of our houses are gonna be in the grand. Perfect. That will not piss off anybody. Blizzard, yes, the code can be so much crap, it's not possible. The principle and the code of what should be needed for it isn't that hard. 
You can't say isn't unless you know. You can say it shouldn't be that hard, but maybe in this situation it is. But no, it, it's not. That's not how it works. Yeah, how difficult it is would depend highly on what kind of housing it is too. Yeah, exactly. Like, is it a garrison where everyone gets the exact same thing and it's in the same place and you just phase in and out like an instance? Or is it the kind of thing I was... The, the one I would... The type of player housing I was discussing with Jas was like in fucking Pokemon. Speaking of which, secret bases where there were little cracks in walls all over the place. And if you went up to a crack in a wall, it said, would you like to put your secret base here? And you said, yes. And then it went doop and it put you in a little cave and you could put stuff in there. Like if, if that is the case, like if you have like a little hole in the wall over here in Xerath Mortis that has a little, and you can interact with it or use an item on it or something like, yes. Having them spread all over the bloody world of Warcraft that they've spent 17 years creating, likely 18 or more by the time we actually get the next expansion. Yes, that could be exceptionally difficult to code. Good lord. Unless it only can occur in the specific new expansion, which will piss off everybody. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people who have been asking for this for, for literally over a decade. It's gonna piss them off. Like, yeah, it just. But as I always say, add your voice to the chorus on the forums. Uh, that is the official way to, I mean, you can drop in suggestion box and stuff like that, but if you actually want people to be able to contribute together as well, forum post is the way to do it. I'm sure there are hundreds of threads about player housing that you could contribute your voice to. Um, and the more people they have talking about it, uh, the more likely I assume that they would be to invest man hours into investigating it, unless they already have and have already decided that it is not worth it for whatever reason. It'd be nice if they communicated that to us, but they're under no obligation to do so, unfortunately. Um, hmm, so much getting so much of this stuff, I mean, hire more people that's not at all how it works um yeah uh shareholders again like it's it's if they sacrifice a whole bunch of profit in order to hire more people to design one feature of the game that does not bring enough new players to pay for what they spent it is not economically worth it it's business they're beholden to their shareholders Excuse me. I just heard it. Oh, it was the dot, the debuff. Oh, I've got 16 now. Oops. Maybe that's what it'll take to get me the oak, me going too far. Um. Hmm, I'd love to play housing again. I don't know how hard it would be to put it in the game. I'll still have to go for the of that game. Just some using chat thing. Was that recent? Uh. Mine looks the same as it always has. Um, secret bases from Diamond Pearl is if I like, claim this cave for my tiny ball pair hideout. Yeah, exactly. So that kind of stuff would be hella difficult to implement, especially going back and doing it in old world areas and stuff. Um, it's like the, the thing I keep referencing and I don't remember what game it was, but there was a, there was a game that had in the middle of all of the bloody code, there was a picture of an avocado. It was not, it was not a, um, or something like that. It was not a, a piece of the game. It was not a... Um, a file that needed to be referenced by anything. It wasn't like a spray or something that it, it had zero purpose being there. Um, when they deleted it, the whole game crashed and couldn't be launched. So they put the avocado back and the game worked fine again. The person who put it there was long gone from the company. They could not figure out why it was there or how it was causing the rest of the game to crash because the code was that old and that spaghetti that it just, they couldn't figure it out, but it is forever stuck there. We don't know how going back into 18 year old code and putting something new in might break the drop rate of a mount on Ragnaros. Like, you, you don't, like, we, we have zero idea. Blizzard probably have a little more idea, hopefully. Um, but they could try to stick something in and everything just go dunk. And I'd rather have a functional game, personally, but. <laughs> That's my frustration noise. <laughs> uh, 
what was that? Is that 10? I think that was 10. I'm not going to get this before the end of stream, am I? Already have the Princip of player housing in the game with your garrison, so they base code should already be in game, just a matter of how you want to make it and or if all houses are in same place places, that shouldn't be that hard again. But as said, I don't know how bad or good the code and how much work it would require. Yep, yeah, so like and like I said, they've done garrisons already, and people fucking hated it. Everyone was so angry at garrisons, they didn't like it at all. Why would they base player housing on garrisons? Like, I mean, I loved my garrison, but like 95% of the vocal player base didn't like them. So why would they go back and make, okay, you, we're giving you player housing, but it's instanced, everyone has to have it in the same place. You can't move doodads around and stuff like, you can't customize, you can customize the buildings. You can customize some bits. You can choose what kind of curtains you'd like, but that's it. That will not piss anybody off. <laughs> like, they're better off not doing it than than doing it and making it based on garrisons because it made so many people unhappy, uh, in in my opinion. But look, again, never say never. If you want player housing, go find a thread on the forums that is because I guarantee you won't need to start a new one. Go find a thread on the feedback forums, add your voice to the chorus, and make it constructive. Give ideas, tell them descriptively what you would like to see, what you would like to do. Tell them you'd like to go and do old dungeons and raids to, to collect themed, like go, go tell them you want to go and do, uh, what was in the molten front? Firelands, to get a chair that's on fire. Uh, tell them you want to go into Hellfire Citadel to get a bed that's all like red, uh, green and purple and cracked and all that kind of and mutated and stuff like that. Um, tell them you want to go and do uh, Sanctum of Domination for just chains everywhere. Um, be just be hella descriptive about what you would like to be able to do in the player housing, how you'd like it to interact with players, whether or not you can bring an entire raid team, or just a five-man party, or a three-man party, or what, like tell them what you'd like it to look like. Formulate in your head what you want player housing to be, and tell them. And if they can do it, they can, and if they think it's worth the time, they will have a, a massively deep pit full of suggestions that they can turn to. So they won't even have to brainstorm. They can just print off the thread and take it into a meeting and, and mark things with ticks and crosses. Some 2.0 electric garrison to electric boogaloo just dropped the oak damage. Exactly! That's what that noise means. Code effect another piece of code unexpectedly say it isn't so. I I do not code. I have been told that this is a thing that happens. Ah, uh, Final Fantasy. Garrisons are not player housing at all. They were tied to player power, couldn't customize or all social aspects of the game via eliminating professions. Yes, but a lot of people said that it was a failed attempt at player housing. That was what my point was. So if people didn't like garrisons, but they want player housing, then why would they base player housing on a garrison? Just in case nothing you can be added to the game, some stuff that happens. Fix to add new stuff. Yeah, but if they if it takes them literally three years to figure out how to fix that stuff, why the fuck would they invest the man hours? Why? For something that doesn't affect anything and for the vast majority of players maybe they'll spend like a week you know messing with it and stuff and then they'll get bored and move on it's n it may god damn it wrong button it may well not be a good investment of their time and money and they have to justify that kind of expenditure to shareholders who may or may not play the game and who may or may not want to play a housing <laughs> Like, this is, this is the bit that, like, this is going to always come back to this. It costs money. Regardless of whether you think it's been done or not, or whatever, it, implementing it costs money. It costs wages. And if they don't think it's going to make enough to cover it, 
then they won't do it because they are beholden by United States law to turn as large a profit as possible for their shareholders. It's shit. It's shit. But it is the status quo. Unfortunately. That's just the way the US works. Capitalism at work. Uh, correct, Chaos. If it was easy and wasn't going to cost them a shitload of money, they would have just done it to shut people up. Absolutely. Mm. No. Are you kidding, Priesty? Um, I'm guessing, so there's a there's an add-on called Ludopraiser. Um, and you can do, there's a second add-on that connects with it called Ludopraiser Challenge. Uh, on Sundays, when I go and do transmog farming, I do it with other people. They're not in there with me, but I can connect via an add-on with anybody on my Battle.net list, regardless of faction. And now, regardless of region, I'm playing with people on Alliance from EU and we're trying to knock each other off by getting expensive transmog to drop. It's so much fun, but it's absolutely the social aspect of it. Not to like, I'm not being like, you're wrong, bad, but like, like there's something you may not know about it. You absolutely can do transmog hunting as a social activity, 100%. Um, anyway, sorry, that was an aside. Moving on. Um, again, easily use that word, but I don't know if that's actually the thing. Like, they might be able to tweak the code, but will that code then be able to be plugged into wherever in the world they want it to be? If it was that easy, why haven't they just done it? It's not about continuing to pay for a sub, Priesty. The assumption is they lose X percent of subs as the game goes on, but that's what like marketing and stuff like that is for. They spend money on marketing because they feel as though they will get enough new sub money that will pay for the marketing that they did. Same thing has to be said here. Player housing has to cost less than or equal to the amount of new sub money that it'll bring in. Not current subs, not continuation, new people. It has to expand the game to bring new people in. Oh, that's from you. Exactly, Zam. Zam joined in and, and whooped me, and it was not very nice. <laughs> you have the same kind of add ons for player housing. Because you can't affect the in game world with add ons. In, like. How would an add on help with player housing? I think I've missed something here. I'm sorry. I, I am quite tired, um, but I, I feel like I've totally missed something here. How would you use an add-on for player housing? Ludopraiser, you join in? Yes, absolutely, Chaos. Absolutely. Ludopraiser and Ludopraiser Challenge is the two you need. And then obviously being on the friends list, but that one's easy. Exclamation add me will get you there. Um, okay, yeah. Hey, Teresa, how you going? Welcome in. Uh... No, not Siri. I'm not asking you. <laughs> uh, little Ali, Knight, Apro, Draz, Martin, Bjorn, and Shell. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Um, I'm not confused at why people want player housing past just playing Sims. I honestly haven't questioned why people want it. Because I've had enough people question me why I bother, like, farming mounts and why I go and do old raids and why I care about pet battles and why I care about achievements. And I'm like, because it's fun. Uh, so I've not really, like, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm neither here nor there on player housing. I don't hate the idea. Um, more shit for me to collect. I'm a completionist. I collect stuff. It's what I do. So if they introduce player housing, I'm assuming you would have to go out and collect the bits to change things around. So it's more for me to collect. Brilliant. But at the same time, I'm not pissed if they don't implement it. Like, I, I don't really care. Like, give it to me and I'll take it. But if it's not there, it's fine. Um, but I just, I don't tend to question why people want things in terms of fun, because, like, how they have fun is entirely up to, up to them. Um, 
but it is an interesting question I haven't really thought about. Apart from the collection side of things, I wouldn't use player housing, I don't think. I just can collect everything and that'd be that. Or collect as much as I could. Um, not the same thing. How? It's not, I don't think it's a, look, um, text is hard to do context, uh, tone. Text is hard to do tone. Um, but Jack is gener probably genuinely, like, asking. Like, how, how is it, how is it not the same thing? Like, what, what is the difference? Um, Oh, well done, Teresa. Well done. It's the same reason I love wild stuff in the playhousing. Yeah, I'm not sure what wild star is. Sorry. Um. Thank you. Let's make stream almost there. She's about to type because it's fun. How is it fun though? Like apart from the collect, I I understand the collecty stuff, but like beyond that, is it just? Uh, I get the customization part. There's a large amount of work for a side system the majority of players just won't care about. Yeah. Uh, let me start by saying I want player housing, but the fact it hasn't been implemented means there's a very good chance they've looked into it and it's not going to bring in money. As you said, but yeah. Same way, if and how they do it, it all depends if it's good or not. It depends on what you expect. This is not happening. I don't know if I want more or less options. Yeah. Same as Garrison. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Farm in Pandare, yeah, building it, inviting friends over to see it. I mean, how is collecting fun? What does that do? Um, I get happy brain juice when numbers go up, um, like my bank account. And <laughs> no, um, but no, it's, um, there's, I like, I, I don't like, like having a list of stuff where everything's ticked off except for one thing irks me. Um, there was a point in, uh, in Sunwell uh, back before, you know, transmog wasn't a thing, there weren't really mounts to go farm and collect because everything was still hard, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I had eight set, eight piece from, from Sunwell. Um, and I got the, clo the the robe, the robe to drop from Maru. And it pissed me off because it was better, but I had to break my eight set to put it on. Uh, and so for raid, I'd put it on, but it'd have that grayed outline in amongst all the yellow ones. It irritated me. It kind of made my brain itch a little bit. And so outside of raid, I'd put my set back on so it'll be done. So I'm, no one could complain at me and tell me that I wasn't putting in my all for raid. I did everything I had to for the team, but in my own personal time, fuck that. <laughs> no. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I like crossing everything on. I like getting everything done. I like um, that kind of stuff. It's it's what drives me. It's why I, it's why I fell in love with Pokemon at age eight. Um, you know, Pokemon Red was my first one and being able to tick off the entire Pokedex was just, oh, felt good. Um, but that's, yeah, that's always been what has driven me, um, has been ticking things off and not leaving things unfinished. Finishing everything. Finishing my plate, finishing my drink, um, f like, completion. Done. Learning about fear. <laughs> um, that got awful. Uh, that got awfully personal, uh, and I'm sorry if that was a little bit oversharing um, in terms of me and my personality. But that that genuinely is what it is. Uh, I like finishing things off. Uh, I like getting it done and completed. Uh, I don't often like stuff that can't be finished. And I know that technically, WoW is a game. There is no end. It's not a game that you can clock. It's not a game you can finish. Um, some people can, if they just enjoy raiding, then completing the raid at whatever their chosen difficulty is, then they call that finished, and then they wait until the next raid comes out of it. And that's great, that's totally fine. 100% up to them. Um, but the fact that I can... The fact that there is a fin there isn't, there is a finite amount of things in the game... Yes, that finite number keeps changing, and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 41 goddamn mounts in 9.2! We're fine. Four of them, I think. Four. I don't remember. Anyway. Um, but yeah, the fact that there is an endpoint. That, that it's all the way over there. <laughs> drives me like not many things I've experienced before. It's interesting. And I can ask, I just respectfully disagreeing. Uh, how many different shinies you got in Pokemon Go? I do not play Pokemon Go anymore. 
Um, there were like there were things that I literally couldn't do because I didn't have the ability to travel two hours in that direction to go and get something that only really spawned over there and stuff. I, I just not. Um, uh, you can collect all the housing appearances and show them off in your house, but I wouldn't show them off because I don't, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm fine if they implement player housing because I'll collect all the stuff. But that'll be that. Like I, I don't. I will not decorate a house and I will not invite people over to see it. I don't care. <laughs> like I, I, I couldn't care less about that side of it. It would, I would tick off the things and I'd be done with it and I'd move on to the next thing. Um, you and I's sense of fun is different and that's okay. But like, yeah, that's, and, and like, that's totally fine, but that's the only part of the thing that I, f I would find fun. And even if they didn't implement player housing, I have a ridiculous amount of things to co collect already. So it doesn't bother me. That's why it doesn't bother me because it's not like I'm missing out on content if they don't implement it. I just find that content elsewhere. And that's that's just me. Not to say that anyone else should feel that way, but that's just me. Feeling comes from a lot of folks to collect. The amount of effort was spent to attain the goal. It feels good. If you play Animal Crossing, you'd be the one who buys all the clothes and all the furniture. Possibly, but if there's not like a list showing what I'm missing, then I don't care. If it's just like, these are the ones that you have, I, I don't care. But if there are gaps in it, that's when I care. Um, let's take a look at Wild Stars Play Housing System. You think that would change your mind? Uh, I, um, I, firstly, don't really have time. Um, secondly, I, I don't really care that much about this topic, honestly. Um, I'm engaging because this is what people are talking about, and I'm a content creator, and you're all engaging, and so I'm engaging back with you. Um, but I don't care enough about this to, like, I, I don't think I'm ever going to be, yes, we need player housing. What the fuck, Blizzard? Why don't we have player housing yet? I'm never going to be like that. I don't get that kind of passionate about these kind of things. That's just not who I am. Um, sorry. That's, I, ju I just don't, I don't care enough. Um, yeah. Actually wants player housing. No, I don't. I don't care. Average, I, I don't care. You've got me wrong. I, I, I will take it if they give it to us and I don't care if they don't implement it. I I genuinely don't care either way. <laughs> I will I will just continue to play the parts of the game that I enjoy regardless of what they implement. And if I no longer enjoy any parts of the game, then I will stop playing. Doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, and I've just collected myself to enjoy games so many things. Get your point, it could be fun, but there's a lot of things that could be fun. I would love a player housing that was hugely customizable, involved in crafting provisions, build the house and outfit it, but like that's a significant dev time, could be put towards fun raids and dungeons and new zones. And that stuff is proven to be a good investment. Player housing isn't proven because they don't have the data to say this is how much money you will make if you implement this feature. That's the problem. That's the that that's the biggest thing that'll probably hold them back. Raids and dungeons are guaranteed money makers because they are such a core part of the game and have been since the very beginning. Um, they teach their own. So, I didn't really do anything with it because I'm not heavily RP. It's about to have building an outlet, so why is never getting that? Engine will just not support that without devoting a full life back to just that. I don't think I really miss it. Is this on some farm? If you remember, they touted that you could grow their own anything. Huh. <laughs> Sick, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Octobers. I'm, t I'm assuming you mean like the, the lights and the, the fun stuff? Much appreciated. There, yeah, nano leaf panels. Kindly and so generously sent to my PO box by an anonymous viewer. Like, good lord. Um, very, very thankful for those. Very thankful. Um, anyway, it's past 10, and that's usually when I finish up, and I. Um, as much as I, like, honestly, I do love this kind of passionate conversation, as long as everyone keeps it respectful, which we have. We, uh, like, everything that I've read, and I've tried to read every message, I don't think I've missed anything. Um, it has been respectful, it's been passionate, it's been fiery at times, especially from my side, because, I mean, you know, you can see my tone. I flail. Uh, <laughs> you can't really see you lot flailing. Um, also, flailing's not really conducive to typing, but whatever. Um... I, I do love that we can have these really intense conversations with really passionate feelings on all sorts of sides uh, whilst still being really super uh, respectful about it. Like, you know, we're talking about the issues at hand, we're talking about potential solutions and, and potential issues and stuff like that, um, but no one has resorted to, well, you're stupid if you don't like blah. That's, that's disrespectful. 
But everything so far has been really, really respectful and I really appreciate that because I haven't had to use any of the timeout buttons and I like that. I don't like timing people out. It makes me feel shit. Um, so thank you for, to everyone for both participating and doing so respectfully. I, I really appreciate it. Um, but we are going to find someone to raid. Uh, one moment, please, while I find somebody to do some stuff. Um, actually, I reckon. Hmm, <laughs> perfect. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, and don't read this message. Oops, too late. Uh, probably there. Um, look, I do, I do think that they may think out of the box. We don't know that. Like, we don't know what has ended up on the, the cutting room floor and why as well. Um, again, back to the whole having to make the, you know, legally obli uh, obligated to make as much profit as possible for their shareholders. Um, if, if there's someone who thinks it might be too much of a risk, that's it. Done. Finished. Um, but... We, we, yeah, we, look, we don't have that internal information and we're never going to have that much internal information uh, because those kind of things will be considered trade secrets. Um, like, competitors can take that kind of information and do stuff with it. Uh, so that's not uh, not great for them. Um, so that's a thing. Uh, Warframe Playhousing, actually, that'd be great. Oh, I've never played War... Have I played Warframe? I feel like maybe I've played a stream of Warframe once. Like, four years ago or something. I, I, I do not remember. God, my brain is a colander on the best of days. Trying to remember that far back is like... I'd have to check. I'll check my Steam library. If I've got hours played, then, then we'll see. Uh, night, night, Chaos. Great. Oh, thank you, Average. I appreciate that. 90% not bad. Good night soon. Off work time here. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad. I hope the rest of your workday treats you kindly, Skell. Be, be nice to yourself and, and stay safe and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Warframe probably equals motion sickness. Ah! Noted. Actually, let me check now because I'm really. War. Frame. I have it. I have played 87 minutes. <laughs> Last played June 23rd, 2018. Good lord, that's nearly four years ago. I have got 10 achievements though. I built an item in the foundry. And I earned 1,000 credits. And I found a mod. And I applied a mod to a weapon or Warframe. I applied four mods to a single weapon or Warframe. I solved 10 ciphers. That sounds like a puzzle. Is this a puzzle? It's not a puzzle game. Uh, I solved a cipher in under five seconds. And I reached rank two with a Warframe and a weapon. All on the same day. 23rd of June, 2018. There you go. Fear played Warframe. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Uh. After getting through all the systems. I love how there are so many people in the community who love so many different types of games. It's so freaking cool. And you guys have introduced me to things that I never thought I would have enjoyed. And then I'm like, oh my God, this looks really cool. I like it a lot. It makes me really happy. Anyway, I'm gonna stop bloody talking. And we're gonna do a raid. We're gonna do a raid. Where's the gold standard for community involvement? Cool. There you go. Oh no, it's on cooldown, dude. Oh no. Uh... That's the wrong- Thank you, Kay. Grab Kay's copy-paste message. Oh my god, you're amazing. Uh, <laughs> this one. That's what I wanted. Um, Alright, we're gonna raid closure. Grab your copy-paste. If you don't have the Fialma hype emote, either because you're not subbed or because you haven't- Excuse me. Unlocked it with your emotes. Your uh, emotes. Unlocked it with your channel points, otherwise known as embers. It doesn't matter. It's okay. You can still copy paste the whole message. Delete the part where it says Fiamma Hype and stick in your own favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote. Um, 
Sunday is transmog hunting time. Make sure you install Loot Appraiser and Loot Appraiser Challenge, and then you can type exclamation add me into chat, even when I'm offline, as long as it's on my page, and you'll get my battle net. You gotta add me, but you have to be on my battle net to be able to do the challenges. I will make room for you. Don't worry, I know it's full, but I'll make room for you. Uh, and then, then I'm not gonna see you until a week from now because I'm having surgery on Monday and I am going to be either asleep or very, very high on, on painkillers. So I'm not gonna be streaming. Uh, and on Wednesday, considering that it is jaw surgery on my lower jaw, well, it's a dental implant, but it's still my jaw, my lower jaw, it's probably gonna hurt a lot to move. So I'm gonna take Wednesday off as well, just to recover, make sure I'm all golden. And I'll come back with probably a bit of a shorter stream uh, to catch up on 9.2 story on Friday. And then Chef Squad, it's gonna be great. You'll love it, I promise. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other. See you Sunday.